what's up? I'm here with my best friend, Brookie. Aww. Hey, guys. I'm so excited to be here. Brookie has a brand new YouTube channel, and you guys can subscribe by clicking the link in the description box below this video. And don't forget to use our code when buying Robux. And don't forget to check out StarSquad.shop where you can buy adorable snuggles or a super cute t-shirt. Daisy, where did you come from? Oh, I just snuck in the back. <laughs> I'm totally subscribing to Brookie's new channel. Thanks, guys. That means so much to me. And now it's time to get to the video. I can't believe it, Daisy. Someone actually figured out all three questions. OMG, we have a super fan on our hands, Molly. That's right, Daisy. I never thought when our YouTube manager suggested that we do a contest to meet with our biggest fan that they'd actually guess all three questions. What were they again, Molly? I can't remember. Well, the first one about me was very easy. What's Molly's favorite color? And the fan answered purple. Very good answer. Second one was, what flavor ice cream did I spill on the couch in episode 226 of the Roblox Happy Family? Oh, I don't even know that one, Molly. Which one was it? Mint chocolate chip, of course. Ooh, mint chocolate chip, you're making me hungry. <laughs> and number three was perhaps the hardest one of all because I've never told anyone this through our YouTube channel. What's your middle name, right, Molly? That's right, and it's May. It's spelled M-A-E, though. You know, just to make me a little different. Wow, Molly, what's our super fan's name? Sarah. Oh, God, not Sarah the Bully. No, Sarah Jenkins. We don't know Sarah Jenkins. Yeah, Sarah the Bully's last name isn't Jenkins. Thank goodness. Can you imagine having to hang out with her all day? Not really. Anyway, we're meeting her in an hour for ice cream and to sign an autograph or two. Sounds amazing, Molly. I'll go get changed. Okay, girls, are you ready to meet your biggest fan? Yeah, totally. Well, Molly, not really, because you didn't even change into a cute outfit or anything. What, my outfit's cute? It's very Molly. Uh, that it is. It is very Molly. Um, so, Sophie, um, when is a super fan gonna get here? Any minute, girls. You guys can go into the ice cream shop and order your ice cream, and, um, we'll start recording. Sounds good! Ooh. Get to meet my super fan and I get ice cream. I think this is a day for birthday cake. Ooh, that sounds good. So, uh, what, what ice cream flavor are you girls gonna be eating? I'm eating birthday cake because it's a celebration. Um, I'm gonna get birthday cake too. Daisy, why are you copying me? This is for a YouTube channel. I wasn't trying to copy you, it's just what sounded good. Oh, we're always arguing on YouTube. This is the best day of my life. There they are, Molly and Daisy. Oh my God, I know you guys now because I met you so I can say I know you. Hi, I'm Sarah Jenkins. It's so nice to meet you. Oh, wow. <laughs> You're definitely extra. Extra amazing for being our number one fan. Now, what kind of ice cream do you want? It's on me and Daisy. Um, 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 I don't even know if I can eat ice cream. I'm so excited. Okay, don't worry. I'll eat your ice cream cone then. Molly. I'm just so happy I get to meet you guys right now. Seriously. <laughs> oh my God. But seriously. Uh, no need to cry. Seriously. We are really down to earth people. And, um, oh, sorry. Maybe a little too down to earth. Buddy, did you just fought in front of our number one fan? Um, uh, sorry about that. It's okay. I don't mind smelling your gas. After all, I am your number one fan. Um, okay. That's cool. Okay, pick your ice cream flavor and let's go sit down and talk, okay? Okay, sure, but first let's take some selfies, okay? Okay, Sarah Jenkins, whatever you want. Wait, let me make sure I don't have ice cream on my face. Eh, who cares? This is YouTube gold, guys. I knew this would be a great idea for the YouTube channel. Okay, just a lot more selfies, okay? Okay, I think some of those must be good. Okay, well, let's sit down and talk, Sarah. We want to know all about you. You don't want to know anything about me. I'm just boring. I want to hear about you guys and your life and what you do all day. Well, my sister mostly just eats ice cream and farts a lot. <laughs> That's not true. I fart a little bit, but I do eat a lot of ice cream. <laughs> you guys are hilarious. I've been watching your YouTube channel for like five years now. Oh my gosh. You guys have had such a transformation. It's amazing. Oh, thank you. 
Okay, guys, um, you have about 10 more minutes, and then our YouTube stars need to get home. They do have a curfew. Oh, yeah, me too. Uh, yeah, sure. Um, I can't even think what questions to ask you guys. I'm so nervous. We don't have to be nervous around us, Sarah. We, we're, we're nice people. We're down to earth. Yeah, I know because I'm their channel manager, so I'm around them all the time. They're super cool. You guys are super cool. Thanks for picking me as your number one fan. Oh, I'm gonna cry again. Sorry, I'm just so emotional. Okay, well, it's time for Molly and Daisy to go, Sarah. But we appreciate you being their number one fan. We have a gift certificate for their web store. It's for $500. Holy guacamole, $500? That's a great prize. It sure is. Thanks so much. Well, it was nice meeting you, Sarah Jenkins. Don't forget to watch all of our videos and hit the subscribe button. Molly, cheapos, you're not trying to sell on the YouTube channel. Sorry, it's just sort of second nature at this point. But, um, we're really gra glad you're our fan. Thanks so much. This was the best day of my life. Okay, bye, Sarah. Nice to meet you. She was so nice, even though she was super nervous. Yeah, well, I guess you just kind of get starstruck when you meet a YouTuber. True, Molly, true. Hey, wait up, Molly. Sorry, I ate a bunch of sugar. <laughs> now I have to go potty. See you at home. <laughs> Oh, man, why did I eat so much ice cream? Now I have an upset stomach. Oh, huh, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to pay extra on the sewer bill this year. Oh, oh my stomach. Daisy? Is, is that you? I'm, I'm, I'm on the toilet. Don't come in. Um, uh, uh. Daisy? Uh, Daisy? Um, no, it's, um, it's Sarah Jenkins. Ah! I'm on the toilet! What are you doing in my house? I'm um, sorry, I just... I, I didn't get a good selfie with you guys. They were all blurry, and I really need one because I have to post it on all my social media. I'm in the bathroom! Uh, wait, okay, let me at least flush the toilet. Ew. I don't want my doo, doo to be in the picture. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt your, your bathroom time. Ew, it's kind of stinky in here. It's a bathroom! Of course it's stinky! Okay, just come right over here, and we can take the selfie. No, you need to get out of my house, Sarah Jenkins. Is that any way to treat your fan? Is that any way to treat a YouTuber to just break into their bathroom during their poo-poo time? Oh, sorry. Come on, we can go out of the bathroom. Besides, I think I'm about to pass out. Maybe you're lactose intolerant. We should go to the hospital and get you a test. Sarah, this is crossing the line for fandom. I think you're a really nice person and all, but you can't just follow us home, break into our bathroom and stuff. Okay, well... Then just take a selfie with me, and I'll be on my way. All right, fine. Say, I'm the biggest fan ever. Wait, why is she here, Molly? She didn't get a good picture, so she followed us home. Oh, okay, that's not quite quite or anything. Oh, thanks for the photo. Okay, just a few more. A few more? Wait, no, wait, okay, fine. Molly, you're not smiling. Is that better? Perfect. Okay, now I'm just going to need you to autograph a few things. A few things? Wait, what? Thought you were leaving. Yeah, you can't just break into our house, Sarah Jenkins. Yeah, you can't just break into our house. Seems a little crazy. Here, just sign your name right here. That looks like a contract. Um, no, just sign it. It's not a contract or anything. Money, don't sign that! It is a contract. It says that she can hang out with us every day at our house, even in the bathroom for the next 20 years. Sarah Jenkins! Uh, uh, I think we need to draw the line here. Uh, what are you going to do? Call the cops? And then I'm going to tell everybody on YouTube you're rude and mean to your fans. Okay. Let's just get something uh, straight here. You can be our friend, but you have to call before you show up at our house or text. And you can't come into the bathroom. That's private space. Yeah, Sarah Jenkins. Okay, well, I'm... I'm sorry, but I just love you guys so much. I didn't mean to, like, invade your private space. Oh, great. Now you made her cry. Me? You were, you were saying stuff. You said it first. And now you guys are fighting and it's all my fault. I'm the worst fan ever. No, you're not the worst fan ever. Sarah, it's going to be okay. We still think you're a great fan. Just don't break into the bathroom again, okay? Yeah, you don't want to pass out from the smell of Molly's doo-doo. Daisy? Well, it's true, right, Sarah? Yeah, it is true. 
You definitely are lactose intolerant. Well, thank you so much for all the selfies and, 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 and everything. Bye! Um, okay, that contest was maybe a really crazy idea. You can say that again. Let's lock the door. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching our show today, Brooke. Hi. Don't forget to check out our sponsor, the new iPhone. Guys, the new iPhone is amazing. You want to run out to your local electronics store and purchase it right now. Whoa, Daisy, did you hear that? Brittany says we should get the new iPhone. I know, she's such a star. I love her. <sighs> but I haven't saved up enough money yet for the iPhone. That's okay, I know what to do. Mom! Molly, I'm right here. <laughs> you know the downstairs is all one room, right? Yeah, but Mom, I have a question. Uh, please stop crawling on the counter, Molly. I can't afford a new one. Uh, sorry, Mom. I'm just really excited. She's gonna say no. Uh, Daisy, shh! I haven't even asked her yet. Mom, Mom, Mom. Beautiful, Mommy! Okay, Molly, what is it? Spit it out. You are the most radiant, amazing mom on the entire planet. What do you want, Molly? Nothing. I'm just saying, you're amazing. Mm, I think you probably are going to ask me for something. Okay, um, you know how on Brook High they have the brand new iPhones? Uh, yes, Molly, but that's because they got them for free because that is the show that's like most popular right now, so iPhone just gives them to them. Yeah, I know, but... Uh, I want the new iPhone, too. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's a big ask, Molly. Um, I, I, I don't think that I can afford that right now. I'm really sorry. <laughs> what? But, but, Mom, my old phone is like a flip phone. It's so old. I'm pretty sure the dinosaurs called each other on my phone. Well, Molly, just be thankful you actually have a phone. A lot of girls your age don't have a phone at all. Yeah, Molly, try to be appreciative. This apple's delicious, Mom. Ugh, can't believe it. I can't get the new iPhone. I could have told you that, Molly. Duh. I cannot believe that I just won a bazillion dollars. What's the first thing you're going to buy? Uh, a new laptop, of course. They're also our sponsor for this video. Oh, my gosh. Now the stars from Rags to Riches are getting new um iPads. I definitely want one of those or a new laptop. Ooh, I could use that for school. I'm going to go ask Mom. Uh, yeah, good luck with that. I already asked for a new iPhone, and she said no. But this is for school. It's necessary. My laptop keeps freezing. Mom! Yes, Daisy, what is it? Dinner's going to be ready soon. My laptop keeps freezing whenever I try to do my schoolwork. Oh, man. We're going to have to take it into Best Buy then, and maybe they can figure out why. No, Mom, you don't understand. This this computer is so old, I can't use it anymore. Um, well, we're going to have to make it work because uh, I can't afford a new one right now. Even with all the overtime at work, I have to pay the mortgage and the car payment. And even your dad's mowing the grass instead of hiring someone else to do it. We have to all pitch in during this rough time. But, Mom, I need a new iPad or a new laptop to do my schoolwork. Daisy, I told you we could go to the Best Buy and see if they can fix your laptop. But, but, told you, Daisy. I knew she wasn't going to say yes. Hey, what happened to TV? Oh, I'm so tired from mowing that grass. It's like a thousand degrees outside. Ah. Dad, I'm so sorry you're dying, but what happened to cable? I need TV. Oh, your mother and I canceled that so we could save some money. What? No! No new iPhone, no new laptop, and no cable? I can't take this anymore. I've got to get out of here. I'm coming with you, Molly. Girls, wait a minute. If you're going out, I need something from the grocery store. Ah, oh, really? We've got to go do an errand? Yes, Molly, please. I, I need some eggs so I can finish what I'm making for dinner. Okay, fine. Can I buy a candy bar? No, Molly. Of course you can't. You don't have enough money for that. But I want a candy bar. No, Molly, I need eggs. Don't buy a candy bar with that money. Okay, Mom, fine. Come on, Daisy. Ugh. I don't like being poor. Being poor stinks. I agree, Molly, I agree. Now remember what Mom said, Molly. 
No buying a candy ball as much as you wanted. Well, hello there. Welcome to my grocery store. Hi. Um, I only have enough money for some eggs. Where are those? Uh, back right-hand corner. Hey, Luke, what's up? Yeah, I'm just, I'm just, uh, working at the grocery store tonight. The lottery is up to 100 million. What? The lottery is up to 100 million dollars? I'm not gonna work at the grocery store again! And it's said that the winning ticket is in Brookhaven? Holy guacamole! I'm gonna make a beach. Yeah, I'm gonna buy some tickets. I'm gonna make a, yeah. I'm gonna make a beach. Yeah, it's gonna be awesome if I win. I'm gonna move to the beach. I'm never gonna work at the grocery store again! Daisy, did you hear that? Hear what, Molly? The sound of my stomach growling? I hope dinner's ready when we get home. No, the grocery store worker. He said that the lotto was up to a hundred million dollars. Holy guacamole! He also said the winning ticket is at one of these stores in Brookhaven. Wow, that's insane. Whoever wins is going to be really lucky. Now let's get the eggs and go home. I'm hungry. Don't you see, Daisy? We gotta buy the winning ticket. How are we going to do that, Molly? Don't be ridiculous. We're going to do it because we're going to use this $3 to buy the winning lotto ticket. What? No, we're not. We have to use that for eggs. Yeah, but if we buy the winning lotto ticket, we don't have to worry about eggs. We could buy a bazillion eggs. Molly, how do you know you're going to buy the winning ticket? Um, well, um, I don't know. I'm just having faith it's all going to work out. What's going to happen is you're going to spend that $3. We're going to go home and there's not going to be any dinner. You could be grounded for a week. Well, Daisy, I'm buying the lotto ticket. Molly, you're not going to buy the lotto ticket. D Daisy, let me out of this car. Don't, don't you dare. Get, let me out of this car. I'm buying it. I'm buying it, Daisy. Get back here, Molly. You're not spending mom's money. I am spending mom's money. Daisy, did you seriously just put me back in the car? Daisy, I'm not three years old. Stop it. Are you going to act more mature about the money mom gave you? Yes, I will buy the eggs. Are you sure? Yep. Come on, let's go over and get them right now. <laughs> I'd like the um, winning lotto ticket, please. Well, there's no way I know if you're going to actually get the... Just sell me the ticket. Okay, fine. Here you go. Molly, no. You spent the money on a lotto ticket, Naughty! Naughty, you're grounded. Daisy, I'm not your kid. Stop putting me in the... Stop putting me in the cart! Fine, Molly. You're so naughty. I don't even want you in my cart. This is all your fault. I don't even know you. You're dead to me. Oh, my gosh. My sister's so annoying. Good luck with that ticket. You know, I'm going to buy the winning lottery ticket. Okay, fine. We'll see about that. Hey, Daisy. Where's the eggs so I can finish up making dinner? Uh, ask Molly about that? I had nothing to do with this, Mom. I cannot be blamed. Mom, Mom, guess what? Um, you were able to get a two-for-one deal on the eggs? <laughs> then we can have her for breakfast in the morning, too. No, Mom, I spent the money on something else. What? I told you not to buy a candy bar. I needed those eggs, Molly. This is what feeds our family. What were you thinking? You're grounded. What? No, I can't be grounded. I didn't buy a candy bar. Then what did you buy? A lottery ticket! What? You gambled with our money? Are you crazy right now? Oh, that makes me so mad, Molly! But you don't even know if it's a winner! Go to your room, Molly. Go right now! Fine. Well, Molly, that worked out real well. But when I scratch it off and everybody sees I'm a winner... Molly, you're not going to win. Well, let's find out. Daisy! Oh my gosh! Oh, Molly, what is it? Oh my gosh, 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 oh my gosh! Molly, are you pranking me right now? What's going on? I, 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 Molly, stop talking dri gibberish. What's wrong with you? Did you bonk your head? What's going on? Oh my gosh. Is that a, is that a w w w w winning lottery ticket? For a hundred m m m m m m m million dollars, Daisy. Oh my gosh. Uh, uh, yeah. I'll come back to you when you're actually awake. Mom, mom, 
Mom! Molly. I can't talk to you right now, okay? I'm really stressed about money, and I don't have any eggs to <laughs> feed you guys, and I'm just really worried. I'm going to have to take another job, I think, if I can even get one. Mom, your problems are over. What are you talking about? That lotto ticket that I got, it, it's a winner. What, for like a free ticket or something? How's that going to help us? Mom, no, it's it's the big winner. A hundred million dollars. What? L let me see that. Oh my gosh! Ah! Oh my gosh, is there anybody in this house that hasn't passed out? Where's dad? Hey, everybody, we won a, we met, we met, we won a hundred million dollars! All of our troubles are over! Dad, what exactly are you doing? It's the day we're supposed to move into our new mansion. I'm just so excited! I can't stop dancing. I can't stop dancing. Is that a new song you wrote, Dad? Yeah, I'm thinking about becoming a musician now that I don't have to have a job. I can't stop dancing. This is my signature dance move. Uh, Dad, it's just weird. Nope, nope, nope. Raise a roof, raise a roof. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my god, Dad. You're even weirder when you're rich. Well... I'm allowed to be weird. I have all the money in the world! Let's move these moving boxes to our new mansion! Oh boy, my dad is so crazy right now. Ah, now this is the life I was talking about. No one wanted to believe that my winning lotto ticket would actually be, well, a winner. But look where we are now! I have to agree, Molly. I thought you were insane, but this place is, well... Amazing! It's off the hook! And, um, I'm really glad you bought that winning lotto ticket, Molly. Am I still grounded then, Dad? Oh, uh, that's a difficult one to answer. Go ask your mother! Come on, Daisy, come see my new sports car! I've got one of my own, Molly. Whoa! Okay, yeah, I want to ride in yours. That's just because you can't drive, Molly, and I'm a better driver. No, you're not! I'm a fine driver! Uh huh, sure, says the girl who put mom's car on the lake. Okay, that was a little bit of a mistake. You think, cheapos? Oh my gosh, Daisy. We have so much nice stuff now. Like, we've got a mansion, we've got nice cars, we have amazing clothes, we have, we have the newest iPhones. What are we gonna do with all this money that's left over? I don't know, Molly. What, what do you think we should do with it? Hmm. Daisy, I think I have the perfect idea. What are you doing, Molly? Why are you going over there by the dumpsters? I just saw something when we were driving by. Oh, I'm so hungry. I hope this dumpster food doesn't make me sick. Ew, why are you eating from the dumpster? That's disgusting. Um, you could go to the dino. They have regular food. Daisy, he's eating from the dumpster because he doesn't have any money. Oh, Wow, that's really sad because I still have like 90 million dollars and... Daisy! Probably not a good idea to tell him that you have tons of money while he's sitting here eating from the dumpster. Sorry, I guess I just get a little nervous when I don't know what to say or do. Well, I know exactly what to do. Hey, I've got something for you here. Whoa, uh, seriously? Yeah, there's like, um, $500,000 here. What? F five five hundred thousand dollars Yeah, it's enough to buy you a small house. <laughs> oh my god, did he die? Ah, the homeless man died! No, I just can't move. Partially because I just got $500,000, and partially because I ate something rotten from the dumpster. Oh, my stomach hurts. Yeah, you don't have to eat from the dumpster ever, ever again. How can I ever repay you? Huh. I can't wait to go to my own house where I have a bathroom because I'm probably going to have to throw up. Oh, man, that stinks. Yeah, don't eat from a dumpster ever again. Here's $500,000. You could buy food and everything you need. Oh, there was there was this work truck I wanted to get because I'm super good at construction and I wanted to start fixing stuff up and, and, and now I can afford to start my own business. I'll never be homeless again. How could I ever thank you? What's your name? Come on, Daisy. Don't even tell him our name. Let's just do it and be good Samaritans. Molly, look at the orphanage. It really looks a bit fun town. Maybe we could donate some money to them, too. That's a great idea, Daisy. Let's do this. Hi, are you my mommy? 
Oh, no, I'm sorry. I'm just a teenager. I can't be your mommy. Oh, I really need a mommy. This place is really run down. Oh, I'm sorry, but look, my sister and I are going to um give the orphanage $2 million, and it's going to be a lot nicer for you, okay? Are you sure? Are you sure it'll be nicer? Yep, until your mommy or daddy comes to find you. Aw, uh, thanks so much. We're just going to leave the bag of cash right here. Hello, can I help you? You two are a bit young to be adopting. But I see that our little Kelly really loves you. Aw, she's super nice. Maybe I could volunteer here sometime. Anyway, we have something we'd like to give you. Two million dollars. Wait, what? <laughs> Very funny. Is that Monopoly money? No, it's real money. We won the lottery, but we don't need all this money, so we're giving some to you. Seriously? Yeah, please use it for the orphanage and make it a nice place for all the kids. Oh my gosh, the kids right now are out on the playground, except for little Kelly. She kind of didn't want to go out today. She just wanted to hang out inside. They're going to be so excited when they come in and they see this money. And I can tell them we're going to buy new toys and we only have one crib here for all the kids. What? That's horrible. Yeah, everybody's been sleeping on those mats on the floor over there. Every kid deserves to have their own bed. I couldn't agree more. Thank you, girls. This means the world. You're welcome. Bye, Kelly. I follow you. You could be my mommy. Sorry, Kelly, but I could come back next week and maybe I could be your big sister. I love that. Yeah, come back. Hello, this is Molly. Hello, Molly. This is the mayor of Brookhaven. I'd like for you to come down to the courthouse. Um, look, if this is about me driving my mom's car into the pool, I'm really sorry. What? You you were the one that did that? Uh, no, 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 uh, never mind, I didn't say anything. Please come over to the courthouse right away. Okay, I'll, I'll tell my sister now. Come on, Daisy, we have to go to the courthouse. For what, Molly? I don't know. I hope we're not in trouble. Me too, Molly, me too. Well, here's the mayor's office. Here goes nothing. H hello Hello, Molly. Nice to see you. Um, if you're going to give me detention, my teacher does that enough. <laughs> I'm not going to give you detention, but I am going to wait for your sister Daisy to get here, because this is for both of you. Oh, gosh. What kind of trouble are we in? I have to give my mom a heads up. What'd she do now? Why are you assuming it was just me, Daisy? Because, Molly, I'm an angel and you're the demon. What? Actually, I think you're both angels. Really? Why? Well, I've been told that the two of you have been donating large sums of money to people in need. Seriously? You, you heard about that? The mayo? I sure did, and I want to let you know that you guys have won Citizen of the Year of Brookhaven. We usually only pick one person, but since you both helped, we're going to pick two this year. Whoa! That's amazing! What do we get for it? You get these trophies. They're made out of solid gold. Whoa! And you get free ice cream from the ice cream shop downstairs for the entire year. Oh my god, that's amazing! I mean, we still have millions of dollars, so we could just buy ice cream, but that's the thought that counts. We don't need any rewards, Mr. W Mayo. We just wanted to do it because it was the right thing to do. Well... I can tell you that you girls are quite amazing. I'm very proud of you. Wow. Hey, uh, one thing money can't buy is um, a get out of detention free card for the year. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I don't have that kind of power of the teacher. Oh, man. Bad boys, bad boys. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Molly, shh, please. I am trying to write an email to the other people in my science fail group, and you're really being loud. Oh, sorry. Mm. These Doritos are good. Now you're crunching too loud. Picky, picky. Molly, what are you doing? I'm just sitting here watching cops. No, Molly, I want you to get up and do your chores, please. Please vacuum the floor. But, Mom... I can't move. I'm too full of Doritos. What? Doritos? You're not supposed to be eating those. Go in the kitchen and eat something healthy if you're hungry. Who said anything about being hungry? I just like the taste of Doritos. Molly. Ugh. 
You're killing me here. You're killing me. <laughs> Sorry, Mom. <sighs> Do I really have to vacuum? Yes! Okay. Chores are so lame. Aww. Molly, everyone has to pitch in so that the house is nice and clean and runs smoothly. All I hear you say is blah, 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 blah. Boss Molly around, blah, 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 blah. Oh, you are vacuuming the floor. I was beginning to wonder if you were going to turn into a couch potato. Too late. Oh, could I, could I eat some potato chips, Mom? I'm still kind of hungry. No, of course you can't, Molly. Have an apple. Apple? No way. Molly, you can't just eat bad food all the time. Your body needs healthy things. Ugh. Eat healthy, Molly. Vacuum the floor, Molly. Be quiet, Molly. Can I finally watch my cops episode while eating this apple? Bad boys, bad boys. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Molly, have you done your homework? Huh? What? Can't hear you. She asked if you've done your homework. Uh, yeah, sure. Molly, if you did your homework, let me see it. Oh, um, uh, okay. Oh, homework, homework, homework. Where's my homework? Where's my homework? Where's my homework? Where's my homework? Okay, here it is. Here you go, Mom. Molly, this is just a blank piece of paper. There's nothing on it. Oh, um, yeah, well, <laughs> that's just because you can't see it because you have grown-up eyes. Yeah, that's it. It's magical homework. Molly, are you really thinking that I'm going to believe you on this one? She knows you're being ridiculous, Molly. <laughs> Me? Ridiculous? I'm offended that you guys would think I was ridiculous. Of course it's magic homework. Molly, I wasn't born yesterday. This is a blank piece of paper. Do your homework. Wow, snappy. Do your homework right now. Okay, fine. Ugh. My mom is so bossy. She just makes me do stuff all the time that I don't want to do. Hmm, I think I'm going to do the opposite of what my mom says for 24 hours. <laughs> Molly, would you please mop the floor too? <sighs> my feet are sticking to it. It's really gross. You're supposed to mop. Actually, Daisy's supposed to mop. No, I did it um, last week, Molly. It's your turn. Okay, Mom. I'll mop the floor. Not. I'm going to do the opposite of what she says and chill on the couch. Bad boys, bad boys. What you going to do? What you going to do when they come for you? <laughs> Molly, um, it's time for dinner. Come on, girls. Daisy. Oh, boy. Dinner. What are we having? Pizza? No, we're having a delicious chicken bake with healthy vegetables. Ugh! Sounds miserable. I think it sounds delicious. Of course you would, Daisy. Ugh. I know what to do with this. <laughs> Hi, Coco. Do you want a delicious chicken dinner with vegetables? Here you go. <laughs> you can have all of it. Ugh. Who wants to eat that when you can have a candy bar? <laughs> Molly, are you letting are you letting Coco eat your dinner? Who me? No, never. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna tell mom. Tattletail! You better not! Okay, fine, Molly, but you better not feed that food to the dog. Hmm. Well, this Hershey bar is delicious. And a donut to wash it down. <laughs> Ugh, kind of got a stomachache. Oh, well, it's still delicious. Molly, did you finish your homework? Yeah, sure, I got it all done. Wait, Mom, where are you? I'm over here. No, you're over there. Wait, wait, where? She's magic. She disappeared. Mom? 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 Molly, what are you doing? <laughs> that was funny. I'm trying to get the laundry done. Would you like to help? Um, let me think about that for a minute. Uh, eh, uh, eh. No! Oh, Molly, you're so helpful, aren't you? <sighs> okay, why don't you go take a bath? It's almost time for bed. Okay! Bath. <laughs> I'm not taking a bath. Where's a giant mud puddle I can splash in? 
That sounds like a much better idea. Aren't there any mud puddles in Brookhaven? I'm, a girl doesn't want to take a bath, unless it's a mud bath. <laughs> I have an idea. Since I have to do the opposite of everything my mom says, I have to get very dirty right now. And I know the perfect place. La 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 la. I'm gonna roll around in the dumpster. <laughs> Wait, where is the dumpster? Oh, there it is. This is going to be epically smelly. Whee! <laughs> oh, it's thinky in here. Oh, I smell so bad. It's perfect. Wow, the stink is just wafting off of me. <laughs> I am surrounded in a stink cloud. Perfect! Oh, what is that awful smell? It smells like a dead fish mixed with a sewer. Ew! What? I don't know what you're talking about. Hey, you want to switch beds with me tonight? Uh, not really. I like my bed. It's comfortable. <coughs> I can't breathe. Wait a minute. Molly, is that you that smells that way? And you wanted to sleep in my bed? Well, I don't want to make my bed smell bad. Molly, get out of my bed right this instant. Molly, ew. I'm telling mom. You better not. You're a tattletale. Okay, fine. I'll just wear my gas mask and change my sheets. But why don't you take a bath? And what were you doing? Rutting with the pigs? Something like that. <laughs> oh, what's that smell? Oh, wait. It's still Molly. <laughs> Daisy, come closer. Come closer. Ah, get away from me! Girls, what are you doing? Mom, why are you still standing in front of the washing machine? Because there's so much laundry. I'm still doing another load of it this morning. Wow, you do a lot of laundry. You girls go through a lot of clothes. Ew, what's that smell? Are you wearing the same clothes you did yesterday? Those aren't clean anymore. I know they're not clean. <laughs> Molly, go change right this instant. Uh, Molly, the bus is here. Molly, oh my goodness. Do you have gym clothes in your bag? Uh, yeah. Just change into those when you get to school so you're not late. Come on, go before you miss the bus. Have a great day, Molly. Don't get detention. Ah, uh, no promises. Mom says I have to get on the bus. There's the bus. But since it's still 24 hours, I have to do the exact opposite of what Mom says. <laughs> Dad? Oh, hi. Dad, what are you doing? I really didn't want to go to work today, so I'm hiding in the bushes. Dad? Get out of here. This is my hiding space. Okay, Dad. Whatever. You're going to get fired. Oh, no. I'm just going to take a personal day. I need to hide from the world. Me too. Well, pick your own hiding spot. And also, you smell terrible. <laughs> Thanks. Ah, another long day of work. Hopefully Molly doesn't get detention. <laughs> Mom's gone. Well, Mom, I can't get detention because I'm not actually at school. <laughs> ah, finally. Now I can watch my favorite show without anybody irritating me. Okay, is Cops not on? Because that will make me sad. Oh, yeah, Cops is on. Oh, yeah. Gonna eat some Doritos. Gonna chill out. Mm. Doing the opposite of what my mom said for 24 hours was the best decision of my life. <laughs> oh, man. I forgot my purse. Molly? What are you doing? Uh-oh. Molly, did you just skip school? Why do you still smell? Why are you eating unhealthy food? Um, well, I was sort of just getting a little sick of you bossing me around all the time, so decided to do the opposite of what you said for 24 hours. Molly! I tell you these things because I want you to be healthy and successful and a good human being. Oh, you drive me crazy. And to that end, you're grounded for an entire week. What? An entire week? Yes. Now go take a bath so I can drive you to school, Stinky. Oh, man. This opposites thing didn't work out at all. Chop, chop, Molly. Chop, chop. Okay, fine. I can go to school smelly. No way. Hurry. Um, if you're thinking about doing the opposite of what your mom says, here's my advice. Don't! On this
this exciting conclusion of Brook High, see what Lily says to Brittany. OMG! What does Lily say to Brittany? Mm. These Doritos are delicious. Time to wash it down with a donut. So good. I can eat all the snacks. Molly, Molly, Molly. Ew, what's that smell? Oh, Molly, you you smell awful. When was the last time you changed your clothes? And when was the last time you took a bath? Um, I can't remember. Mm, this is good. Molly, have you been spending the entire weekend just sitting on the couch watching Brook High? Uh, pretty much. Did you grow a beard? How do you grow a beard? Oh, no. <laughs> That's moss. <laughs> I just sat here for so long that plants started growing on me. Oh, Molly. Yuck. Don't you know that tomorrow is the school dance? The big one. The prom. You can't go looking like that. Who says I'm going to the prom? I think I'd rather stay here and eat all these Doritos. Molly, you have to go to prom. It's like so important. Now go take a bath. We're going to the spa. Oh, fine. Why do I have to go to the spa, though? Uh, because, Molly, you have a moss beard. You definitely need to go to the spa. You can't go to the dance like that. Fine. Ugh, I hope she's happy. I had to give up my Doritos for this. Is this better? That'll do till we get to the spa, Molly. I mean, at least you shaved your moss beard. <laughs> I kind of liked having a plant growing on my face. I felt productive. Well, Molly, I guess you were productive sitting on the couch doing nothing, eating Doritos and watching every episode of Book High. Well, I'm glad you see things my way. I don't, Molly. Now, come on. Let's go to the spa. Oh, I need to get zen. <laughs> zen. Yeah, you're stressing me out, Molly. Daisy, I think you're going the wrong way. Molly, like, you know where the spa is. Of course I know where it is, though. Oh, what? What's that smell? It smells like heaven. Like flowers and potions and lotions. I think I prefer the smell of Doritos. Oh, Molly, what are we going to do with you? Now, where is my normal girl? Where's Brittany? She normally does my hair. Uh, doesn't look like Brittany works here anymore. What? Hey, I have to get ready for plum. It's okay, Daisy. Just sit down in the chair and uh, I'll go in the back. See if I can find Brittany. Oh my gosh, my sister's gonna freak out. It's okay though, I can just, I can pretend to be Brittany. <laughs> Daisy? Oh, wake me up when Brittany gets here. Brittany said she's gonna be here in one minute. Just go sit in the chair and close your eyes, okay? Okay, good. I'm so glad Brittany didn't quit. What would I do without her? She'll never know it isn't Brittany. Hi, Brittany. Are you gonna um wash my hair and stuff today? Oh, yes. I'm gonna wash your hair. Oh, Brittany, the water's too hot. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, must be something wrong with the faucet. Yeah, that's it. Oh, that water's freezing. Oh, oh sorry. Okay, okay, your hair is washed. Uh, don't open your eyes, though. Just here, um... Come on over here and I'll, I'll help you sit in the chair. Okay. What if I run into stuff? Oh, you won't. I'm sure of it. Whoa, I can't see anything. Ouch! Ouch! Okay, just come right this way. I, I don't want you to open your eyes because I don't want you to get any of the awesome um conditioner I put in your hair in your eyes. Yeah, that's it. Have a seat. Okay, let's give you some new hair. Brittany, you sound really funny. Oh, uh, I just have a little bit of a... A cold is all. Oh, I hope you feel better. Try not to give it to me. I'm going to prom later. Oh, that sounds amazing. <coughs> oh, your coffee got me. Sorry about that. Oh, that looks beautiful. Oh, I'm so glad, Brittany. I have to look perfect for prom. Okay, um, wh why don't you, um, just step right over here and, um, we'll do your, we'll do your nails and some makeup, too. Okay, uh, to, can I open my eyes yet? No! I want it to be a big surprise. Come over here. Well, I can't, I can't see anything. This way, follow the sound of my voice. Yeah, that's right. Oh, finally, I found my way. Okay. <sighs> Give me the works. I need to look perfect for prom. Sure thing. Anything you want. Are you going to give me a tip? Oh, uh, sure, Brittany. I always give you a tip, silly. Okay, I'm all done. You can open your eyes. What? Molly? What? Why are you sitting where Brittany sits? Um, because I am Brittany? What? Where's Brittany? She wasn't here. I didn't want you to get really upset, so I did your makeover. It looks beautiful, though. Um, uh, okay.
Okay, let me see it. I really, I really like Britney, though. No, it's good. I, I, I did a good job. Go look in the mirror. I'm a little afraid, but okay. Ah! Molly! I look like a clown! Look at me! Oh my gosh, I'm so ugly! Holy guacamole! This is bad. This is so bad. Daisy! Daisy, it's gonna be okay! Oh, no! I am gonna be the ugliest person in prom! Daisy, seriously, it, it's not that bad. I mean, you have a winning personality. You're super smart. Molly! You made me into a clown! I might as well join the circus! Um... Hello? <laughs> Luke? Oh, hi. Oh, my gosh. Someone I know. I better run and hide. Uh, is that Daisy? Yeah, I gave her a makeover. Oh, <laughs> uh, that was a really interesting makeover you gave her, Molly. What, you don't like it? Um, uh, well... <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess it was kind of terrible. Oopsie. So, what what are you doing here, Luke? Oh, I came to ask you of something uh, kind of important. Molly, I can't believe you turned me into a clown. Oh, this makeup won't even come off. Okay, well, I'll be there in a second, Daisy. Uh, What what did you have to ask me, Luke? Uh, nothing. <laughs> Just if you uh, did your homework. Uh... Not yet. Well, you better so you don't get detention. Okay, I'll, I'll see you later. Uh, okay. Bye. Uh, Daisy, where are you? I'm hiding. I don't want anybody to see me. Daisy, I'm sure we can get the makeup off. Hello, I've got a package delivery for Daisy. Is she here? Daisy, they're... They're, they're delivering a package here for you. What? Why aren't they delivering it at my house? Oh, this is a special delivery from Amazon. I'll leave it at the door. Daisy, come on. Let's go see what you got. It's probably some sort of cool present. Or maybe you won a major award. Oh, I did win the science fail. Maybe I'm getting a trophy. Whoa, Daisy, that's a huge box. I wonder who it could be from. He says, from my secret admirer. What? You have a secret admirer? Yeah. Look what's inside. It's a stuffed monkey? That's a baby toy. I think it's adorable. Besides, I don't have a date for prom yet, and it's not going to be very easy looking like a clown, so I'll take all the secret admirers I could get. Uh, now I have to see if I could get into a different spa. I'm a mess. What a day, Molly. What a day. Well, at least we're having an awesome campfire at the lake tonight. Yeah, but I only have one more day into the school dance. Well, at least you don't look like a clown anymore. Yeah, thanks to you. Hey, you want to roast some marshmallows? Sounds fun, Molly. Let's do it. Are you excited about prom, Molly? Yeah, I guess. I mean, I don't know. I told you I'd be just as happy staying at home eating Doritos. Molly, you can't just stay at home and eat Doritos all the time. You have to get out and have adventures. I don't know if I'd call the prom an adventure. Well, look at me. I have a secret admirer. That's pretty adventurous. Yeah, until you find out that it's like a cat or something. A cat? <laughs> or a llama. Maybe a llama wants to take you to prom. <laughs> <laughs> nice llama sound, Molly. Sometimes I swear you're the most annoying sister on the planet. Well, I try. It's an achievement that I work hard towards. Oh, boy. Trust me, you're gonna win it. Hello over there on the beach. I have an Amazon delivery uh, for Daisy. What? Another package? Amazing. Have a great day. Thank you. What's it say, Daisy? What's it say? It says to Daisy, from your secret admirer. Oh, and she. What is it, Daisy? What is it? It's, it's red roses. Oh, my gosh, Daisy. And inside the card, it says, I'm going to ask you to the dance soon. Whoa. You really do have a cool secret admirer. <laughs> Looks like you're going to prom with a llama. Bleh. Molly, it's not a llama that's sending me all this stuff. Llamas can't even write, duh. Well, maybe the cat helped the llama. Do you even hear yourself sometimes? Do you even hear yourself? <laughs> Oh, Molly, we stayed here so late, it's already morning. <laughs> Molly, we better get some sleep before the big dance or we'll be tired. <laughs> sorry, I can't stop laughing. <laughs> Molly! Okay, sorry. Whoa, was that a limo? Hey, hey, you're parking behind us, rude! Who is that, Molly? I didn't know anybody famous lived in Brookhaven. Can't see who it is. Whoa, who is that? Um, I don't know. I've never seen him before. Ahem. <clears throat> Hello. Um, hi? Who are you and why are you blocking us in? Yeah, who are you? I am Boss Baby. What? But, but you're not a 
You're not a baby. Yeah, you're not a baby. What are you talking about? And who's who? Are you, who are you the boss of? Pretty much everyone. <laughs> you may remember me from my movies, Boss Baby. Wait, what? You're the baby from Boss Baby? Whoa, he's a teenager now. But surprisingly, his face still kind of looks like a baby. Why do you think I'm still famous? Actually, I haven't seen a movie from you in a long time. Yeah, what happened? Well, I grew up a little bit and, and I'm just, I don't know. I've got to wait till my baby face goes away and then I'll be a, I'll be I'll be a star again! Yeah, that's it. Um, okay. Um, that's nice. Could you move your limo now? Well, I have a question for you. Um, okay. She doesn't have time for this. We didn't sleep all night. We were out here at the beach, and we have to go to bed, so... Because the prom is tonight, so could you please move your limo? What is your real name, anyway? Boss Baby. No, I saw it on the movie. It's Theodore. Don't call me that! Call me Boss Baby. Okay, Boss Baby. You still do have a baby face, though. Like, seriously. Seriously, look at your baby face. That is really kind of weird. Hey, stop getting so close to my face. This face is worth a billion dollars. Yeah, okay. Um, move your limo, please. Fine, but I'll be back to ask my question. All right, bye. Wow, I can't believe that guy. Weird and rude. Wow, can you believe it? Boss Baby lives in Brookhaven. You mean Theodore? No, he said his name was Boss Baby. No, that's his famous name. His real name is Theodore. Well, I'm surprised that he lives in Brookhaven. Why? Brookhaven's really nice. Yeah, but he's so famous. I figured he'd live in Hollywood or something. Hmm. This is a delicious donut. Ah, and another episode of Brook High, my favorite. Who could that be? Oh, no. It's Theodore. What do you want? Uh, I want you to not open the door up into me. Jeez. Sorry, come on in if you must. Where's Daisy? I have a very important question for her. Uh, boss baby, she's not here. Okay, well, I guess you could make me a snack then. I don't want to make you a snack. I don't want a snack. You need to make me one right now. <laughs> Wow, I see why they still call you boss baby. Because you're bossy and you act like a baby. You're so mean. I just want a snack. Make me one. Fine. Wow, rude. Here, we have some waffles. I only took one bite out of it. What? You took a bite out of my waffle? Ew. <laughs> okay, well, here, you can eat it. Go ahead. Hmm. These are actually really good. Make me more. What? Okay, fine. Good grief. This guy eats a lot for being a baby. Well, I guess he's not a baby anymore. Here you go. Mmm. These are good. Now give me some ice cream. Seriously? How much am I supposed to feed you here? Boy, you're going to be a pretty fat boss, baby, if you're not careful. What? What did you say? Nothing. Here's your ice cream. <laughs> Wow, you're having a temper tantrum? How old are you, by the way? Never mind. I'm gonna be a baby forever. Okay, well, Daisy's not here, so um, you should probably get going. Feed me more snacks. No, sorry. I have to watch the rest of Brook High. Very important things to do. Bye, boss baby. I'll be back when Daisy gets home. Okay, bye. Oh, wow, that was insane. Oh, I guess I could take a little nap before the prob. <sighs> gigantic i'm still hungry feed me boss baby i don't have anything else to feed you please please don't eat me ah! oh my gosh boss baby ate me ew ew boss baby ate me yuck and now i'm i'm ew so gross wake up molly wake up wake up molly molly wake up you're gonna miss the plum molly how about no boss baby no no Oh my gosh, it was just a dream. Molly, you must have eaten something really weird before you fell asleep for that nap. Molly, wake up. Prom's gonna start soon. And I made a big decision. Wait, what? What big decision? Oh, that dream was so creepy. I've decided I'm going to the dance with Theodore. What? 
No, you can't. He wants to eat everything. He's going to eat the world. What, to, what are you talking about? Don't be ridiculous, Molly. I have to go get ready. I have to look beautiful. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe she's going to the dance with that giant baby who's a boss. Oh, get dressed, Molly. Fine. Is this better, Daisy? I'm ready. Look who's here, Daisy. It's your date, Theodore. That's boss, baby. Okay, boss, baby. Just don't eat me. Molly, what are you talking about? Just be careful, Daisy. He eats all of the snacks. That's not nice. That's not nice. I mean, what if you want a snack? Molly, relax. Boss baby seems really cool. Um, yeah, sure. I'm going for a snack. Don't. Follow me, boss baby. Why would I want to follow you? I'm here for Daisy. Okay, whatever. Ooh, they've got pizza at the school dance. And Doritos. An apple. Who wants that at a school dance? Hmm. I'm super thirsty, though. Glug, 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 glug. Uh, hey, Molly. Luke, hey, you're at the dance. I didn't know if you were coming or not. Yeah. <laughs> um, you look beautiful. Wow, you, you look super handsome. Was there something you wanted? I mean, you can hang out with me if you want and stuff. I, I, I just didn't know if you wanted to, I don't know, ask me something. Actually, I did want to ask you something. What is it? Okay, so ugh, this whole time, I wanted to ask you to the dance. What? You did? Yeah, and, um, well, the truth is, is I, I, I like you. You do? Yeah, I do. And I was wondering, do you want to dance with me? Yeah, I'd love to. Let's go. Whoa, Daisy, you're a great dancer. Thanks, boss baby. So aren't you. I, I, I really like you. What? You do? Yeah, like a whole lot. Ew, you, you like boss baby? Yeah, what's wrong with that, Marley? Oh, he just, I don't know. He's, he's a baby and he's bossy and, 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 and he's got stinky breath. What? That's not nice, Molly. Well, I'm just saying. Well, you're stuck with me now, Molly. <laughs> ah, no! Molly, so what about that dance? Um, uh, okay. Yeah, sure. Let's do this. Well, you seem like something's wrong. Don't you want to dance? I don't know. I'm just worried about my sister. And where is everybody? Yeah, I was wondering that too. How come we're the only people at the dance? I don't know. Boss Baby seems kind of evil. Come on, Molly. Let's forget about that and just dance. Whoa, Molly, you're a super good dancer. Thanks, Luke. So, do you wonder why we're the only ones here? <laughs> My plan is working perfectly. What? What plan? You see, I set up this school dance just so that you would fall in love with me, Daisy. Wait, it's not an official school dance? No, I put the whole thing on just so that I could ask you here. Wow, actually, that's really sweet. No, it's not. It's creepy. It's creepy. Molly, mind your own business. You're dancing with Luke. And I'm talking to Boss Baby. I think it's really sweet. OMG! Oh, my sister's in love with Boss Baby! I can't believe Mr. Smith gave me this much homework. I mean, seriously, I have to have a life outside of school. Molly, are you gonna help me with this science project? He did pair us up together. Can't move. Can't move. Molly, what are you talking about? Get over here and help me with this science project. Daisy, I literally, I, I, I can't move. What do you mean you can't move? You're perfectly capable of moving. Get up! Daisy, uh, it has been such a long day of so much schoolwork. Why do the teachers give us so much homework anyway? Molly, you need to help with this science project or we'll both fail. You have your backpack on still. What are you doing? Well, I figured I had so much homework. Why even take the books off my back? Yeah, good point, Molly. We do have a lot of homework lately. But I'm a good student, so I will always get it done. Well, I'm a bad student, so I'm just going to hang out on the couch. Molly, you're so smart. If only you did your schoolwork. And this time you're going to because if you don't, I'm going to get a bad grade. Okay, I'll be there in just a minute. So tired of school. So tired of school. Molly, what exactly are you doing right now? Why are you crawling like a dog or like a baby or whatever? I can't do any more schoolwork. It's killing me. Molly died of doing too much schoolwork. Rest in peace, Molly. Molly, get up! Are you serious right now? We're being so dramatic. Um, I don't think you should.
should do CPR, Daisy. Uh, I think she's still alive. Daisy, get, get away from me! You're you're ruining my moment. What your moment of being a drama queen? Pretty much. I'm just gonna go over here. Oh, no more schoolwork. No more. Molly, get up and do your schoolwork. Are you Daisy's partner for the science project? No, I'm no one's project. I'm dead. Molly, quit being so dramatic. You are my science partner. Molly, get up off the floor, please, and do your homework. Fine. I just don't want to. I just don't want to do my homework. Molly, you need to stop this. Seriously, I'm going to have to ground you. Are you laughing at me right now? Seriously? Ah! Molly, are you crying for real? Yes, I, I am. Molly, come on, don't lie. All right, no, I wasn't crying for real, but seriously, this is way too much homework. I just need some chill time. You can have some chill time after you finish your science project. Daisy's so perfect. She always does everything great on time. And I'm like the bad student. Well, you said it, not me, Molly. Hey, Molly, did you finish your science project? Yes, finally. My brain is crying. <laughs> I'm sure you'll survive, Molly. Mom, I need a snack. Not right now, Molly. You need to have um, dinner in just like maybe 20 minutes. Okay, I'm just going to eat this waffle. Molly, I said no. Oh, can't you be like your sister and just wait for dinner? Oh, Daisy's so perfect, isn't she? I mean, she's like the perfect angel. Well, you said it, not me. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, I can't stand anybody or anything right now. Daisy, everyone thinks you're so perfect. That's because I am, Molly. I'm the perfect angel. I'm going to my room. I can't even be around the perfect angel anymore. No one can live up to that. No one. Oh, maybe I can finally get some peace and quiet. Oh, finally, my bed. Hey, Brookie. Hey, Molly, what's up? I'm just having like the worst day ever. I know, Mr. Smith gave us so much homework, right? Yeah, and and I don't know. She's just so perfect. She's like she's like an angel, and I'm like a demon. Molly, don't say that. Your family loves you. Your friends love you. You're great. It doesn't matter if you're different. Yeah, I, I guess. Hey, Brookie, I, I gotta go. Before the perfect angel comes in here. Daisy, what what are you doing? I'm doing my chores, Molly. Why? Daisy, that's, Daisy, that's really loud. I need some peace and quiet. Sorry, Molly, but the chores must be done. Oh. oh, look at you're doing chores. Aren't you the perfect girl? OMG! Oh, oopsie, I accidentally jumped into the hot tub. <laughs> oh, well, seems like a good place to be, right? I mean, I think this backpack's waterproof. Well, if my books get wet, I guess I can't do any more homework. Oh, what a shame. Molly, did you do your chores? Oh my gosh, I just got done with homework. Sorry, but now you have to do chores. O-M-G! Okay, what do I need to do? Vacuum down here, okay? Daisy was vacuuming. Daisy vacuumed upstairs. Now you can vacuum downstairs. Okay. Oh. <laughs> what are you crying about, Molly? You're being super loud. Come watch this cat video. You'll think it's funny. I can't. I have to do my chores. You didn't get up done yet, Molly? Wow. No, not all of us are perfect angels like you. Ah, ah. Oh, that was the longest day of my life. Finally, I get to go to bed. Like, seriously, I'm looking forward to going to bed. That's how awful today was. I thought today was great. Of course you did, Daisy. Good night. La 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 oh. oh, ouch, I tripped over my own feet. I'm the clumsiest angel in the entire world. Oh, hopefully I didn't wake her up. What, what's going on? Oh, no. Oh, I'm such a terrible angel. What, what, what's going on? Is this a dream? Um, well, not exactly. You see, um, I'm a guardian angel. Really, honey guacamole? That's cool. We angels have been watching you for a while, Daisy, and it seems that you're such an amazing person. We want to offer you the chance to become an angel like us. 
What? Are you serious right now? Okay, wake up, Daisy. Wake up. I'm telling you, this is not a dream. Would an, an angel trip over her own feet if this was a dream? Sometimes I think maybe because sometimes I dream that like elephants can fly and stuff. So, you know, maybe. Well, I'm telling you, this isn't a dream. You can pinch yourself and find out. Okay. Ouch, that hurt. Oh, sorry. You probably pinched yourself a little too hard. <laughs> but see, I'm real. You really want me to be an angel? I sure do. <laughs> I think you'd be perfect at it. Hopefully you're not as clumsy as I am, though. The only thing is, is that when you become an angel, you have to start life all over again. So you lose all of the number of years you've been on the planet. Wait, what? That's right. You have to go back to being a baby. A baby angel, though. Um, this sounds crazy right now. Well, you could think it over, but you only have three seconds to make your decision. What? Two. Wait a minute, I can't decide. Three. Have you made your decision? Um, like, um. Okay, I'll do it. The world needs more angels. Okay. <laughs> this little spell won't hurt a bit. <laughs> Well, <laughs> it looks like my spell didn't go quite as it should. You're kind of a toddler, but oh well, things should be just fine. My work here is done. La 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 la. <laughs> oh my gosh, I tripped over my own feet again. Oh, am I ever going to not be so clumsy? <laughs> Why am I dreaming about a crying baby? Seriously, if I didn't have a bad day, now I'm going to have a bad night too? <laughs> Daisy, is that you crying? You sound like a baby. What is going on? Daisy? Daisy? What, what, what's going on? Ah, I'm a baby angel. What? You're a baby? I'm so dreaming right now. This is crazy talk. I, I got turned back into a baby because I decided to be an angel. Wh what? How did this happen? A grown-up angel made me one because she said I was such a perfect human. Holy guacamole! Ugh, this is just like my life. My sister gets to be an amazing angel and, and I just get to be a boring old human? How is this even fair? This isn't fair! OMG! Well, I, 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 what should we do? Should we, like, hide you or something? Of course not. I'm an angel, so I'm perfect. Everybody will want to look upon my face and say, look at that perfect angel. OMG! That's it! That's it! Where's all my stuff? I'm moving! I'm out of here! You can't leave. I just follow you wherever you go because, Molly, I'm going to be your guardian angel. What? No, you're not! You can't even fly! I'm going to climb up here and then you'll see I can fly. One, two... Oh, looks like the baby angel's not so perfect after all. I can't fly yet because I'm just a baby. I don't know how to use my wings. Well, maybe that adult angel should have stayed around to help you. I don't know how any of this works. I'm still a baby. Holy guacamole, though. Are my wings beautiful? Yeah, you're perfect, Daisy. You're always perfect. <sighs> I'm just going to go eat some breakfast. Life is not fun lately. La 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 Ooh, waffles, yes. Mmm. So delicious. Good morning, Molly. Where's your sister? Uh, you're not gonna believe this, Mom. When you see her, you're probably gonna scream. What? Why? What happened? Uh, just wait and see, Mom. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Could I have some more? Molly, you really should eat something healthy for breakfast. You buy the waffles, Mom. I'm just eating them. Well, you could have some fruit on top of the waffles, and the waffles aren't supposed to be for breakfast every day, just on weekends as a special treat. Good morning. What? What's going on here? Oh, my gosh. Ah, uh, yeah, I told you you'd freak out. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. How did, uh, how did you become a, a baby and an, 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 an angel? Uh-oh. Somebody get a bucket of water. She's out. Stand back, baby angel. Sorry about this, Mom. 
Oh, oh my gosh. I just had the craziest dream. Wait, why am I on the kitchen floor? Ah, uh, because you didn't have a dream, Mom. Your daughter, who's so perfect and is the perfect little angel, well, she's an actual angel. And a grown-up angel came in the middle of the night and decided she could become, well, a baby angel. Oh, wait, I'm so confused. Slow down here. All you have to know is I'm a baby angel, and I'm here to bless you all with the best gifts possible. Happiness and love. <laughs> Sounds boring. Bye. Molly, don't be rude to your sister. Obviously, you don't know what a perfect angel is like. Oh, obviously not. Sounds really boring. La, 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 la. What's on TV? <laughs> Funny cats. <laughs> Funny cats getting baths. <laughs> Molly, don't you think it's time for you to go upstairs and get ready for school? Well, don't you think it's time for you to go to school? I don't go to your school. I go to angel school. Oh, fancy. Is that like a private school or something? Yeah, only for angels like me. Not for you. Fine, whatever. I don't need to go to angel school. Who wants to go to boring angel school, huh? Who wants to go to boring angel school anyway? Just go to regular school. I wish. I wish that I could be a baby demon. Did somebody say they wish? What? What? How did you hear that? Because I'm an angel, I can hear all of the wishes and hopes and dreams of everybody. Wow, that sounds like a big job for a little, little tiny angel like you. Yeah, it's a lot of responsibility. What is it you wished for? Um, nothing. You have to tell me a wish, obviously. Why? I don't want to. Because I'll cry if you don't. <laughs> Seriously? I can't help it. I may be perfect, but I'm still a baby. <laughs> okay, fine. I wish that I was a demon. What? Are you serious? No! This is bad! Well, it's better than being an angel. Oh my gosh! I have to grant your wish! Why? You're an angel, not a genie. Um, yeah, I'm not sure how any of this works, but I think I have to. Okay, if you say so. Make me a demon! Your wish is my command. You're a demon. Holy guacamole! Look at me! <laughs> I feel so evil. Wait a minute. You don't have to be a baby, too? That's not why I'm making you a baby. I didn't ask to be a baby! Too bad. I get to decide. <laughs> I don't want to be a baby demon. And I mean it grumpy. Uh, Newsflash, you're a baby demon, so, um, basically, you're mean and grumpy anyway. I'm gonna go cause lots of mischief. <laughs> baby demon, get back here! Hey, you can't do this! I, I, I didn't mean to make you a demon, it was a mistake! No, it wasn't. <laughs> you granted my wish. What did you think was gonna happen? <laughs> My demon mobile. Ugh, I, can't, I can't sit in the driver's seat. I'm, I'm too little. I'm too little. Okay, there we go. Get back here, baby demon. This isn't awful. Oh, yes, it is. <laughs> First thing I'm going to do is rob the grocery store. Because this baby demon is hungry. Okay, we're going to eat in here. I'm starving. Ooh, pizzas. Sounds good to me. Mmm. Yummy. Uh, also, I don't know why I have these braces. But I don't like them. They make me angry. More pizza. And the pizza's getting stuck in my braces. Ah, super angry. Hey, did you pay for that? Of course not. I'm a baby demon. Do I look like I pay for things? Ha <laughs> ha. That's it. I'm going to have to put a spell on you to be good. Too late. I'm a demon. You can't. <laughs> now, what else can I cause mischief in? Ooh! Let's go break all of the arcade games. What? Why would you do that? Because I'm a demon and I do naughty things. <laughs> Broken! What? That's so sad. All of the kids won't be able to play now. That's it. You're under arrest, demon! <laughs> Not till I break this one, too. Too late, it was already out of order. Duh. Hey, don't be rude to me, baby angel. Get over 
over here. You run to a vest. Nope. Not gonna happen. <laughs> now I'm gonna go to the hospital and turn all of the babies like me. No, you can't do that. The babies, they should be angels. Nope. They get to decide. Oops, wrong room. Hey, I'm not a patient. Please, baby demon. Now it's time to give you some magic good. Magic good? What's that? It's how babies say um, that we're going to give you magic. No! I, I don't want magic. I want to be evil forever. Evil, evil, evil! Then I have no choice but to put you under arrest. What? No! That's right. Off to tail you go, baby demon. What? This room is terrible. I can't stay here. This is what prison is like. Here, you can have your hands uncuffed, but you're going to be stuck in here for probably a million years. What? A million years? No! <laughs> Baby Demon doesn't like it. No, I did a bit. Sorry, but, you know, when we are angels and demons, there's no such thing as time. So, you know, a million years, that seems about right. No, let me out of here, baby angel, please! Let me out! Let me out! Let me out! Ha! Ah, no, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want to be in jail for a million years, no! Molly, what? Molly, are you okay? Come here, get out of bed! Think you're having a nightmare! Huh, oh, what? What? Oh, okay, never mind, I go back to sleep. Molly, do you need a snack or something? It sounds like you're having a bad dream. Yeah, I had this dream that I was like, you're a baby angel and I was a baby demon. Ah! Molly! B -b 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 what's going on with you? you? You're a demon and you're so short. Why are you so short? Because I'm a toddler demon! Ah! Wait a minute! It wasn't a dream! Well, um, wait. Was I an angel in your dream? Because I'm not an angel. Really? Because everyone seems to think you are. Apparently, you think you're a demon and your dream came true. Um, I don't know what to do about this right now, but, um... Let's go see the cause some trouble. Molly, this isn't like you. Seriously. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Huh, what? Oh, my gosh. That was a terrifying dream. Molly, come on. You're gonna be late for school. Wait, are you an angel? Do you have wings? <laughs> no. Do I, do I have a dark halo over my head? No, Molly, you don't. What are you talking about? Oh, thank goodness. I had this dream that I... Never mind. It's crazy. See you downstairs, Molly. Okay. Oh, thank goodness it was just a dream. Oh, a dream within a dream. Actually, a nightmare within a nightmare because I thought I woke up, but I hadn't, and I was still a demon, and now I woke up, and I'm normal, and oh, thank goodness. <sighs> I'm never going to wish I was a demon ever again. I need some waffles. <sighs> I'm starving. <sighs> Ouch, my stomach. Oh, I don't feel good. Oh. Why does my stomach hurt so bad? Oh, Molly. Huh? What? Huh? What's, what's going on? <laughs> Daisy, why are you waking me up so early? It's not even 7 o'clock yet. Molly, I need you. Come down here, please. Daisy, what, what's wrong? It's, it's my stomach. It hurts so bad. What? Well... What, did you eat something bad last night? Maybe maybe it's from the bean burritos or something. No, Molly, that's definitely not it. I'm serious. You probably just have to fart. Just try. Okay. <sniffs> Ew, Daisy! Oh, excuse me. Um, yeah, you told me if I fought it, I'd feel better. And it's a lie! My stomach still hurts! Ew, that's super stinky. I have to get back into bed now, Molly. I could barely stand up. My stomach hurts so bad. Oh. Daisy, are you being serious right now or are you pranking me? Molly, I'm not pranking you. <laughs> I want mom. I don't feel good. Okay, I'll go get mom. Mom, mom, mom. Where are you? Mom, Daisy's really sick, mom. Oh my gosh, it's Monday morning. 
Mom told me she had to leave early for work today. She's not even here. Oh my gosh. I have to try to take care of Daisy all by myself. Mom? Mom? Wait, where's Mom? Um, she had to leave early for work today, Daisy. What? No! I need my mom! Daisy, I, I don't know what to do. I don't know either. I just don't feel good. I've never felt so sick in my life. Okay, Daisy, well, uh, I'll think of something. What should I do? What should I do? What should I do? Wait a minute. If she's that sick, I should probably call an ambulance. 911, what's your emergency? Hi, my name is Molly, and my sister Daisy is having really bad stomach pains. Oh, well, maybe it's just gas, dear. No, it's not gas! She already farted, and it didn't make her feel better. Oh, okay, well, does she have any other symptoms? Daisy, do you have any other symptoms? Who are you talking to? 911. 911? No, I don't want to go to the hospital. I'm afraid. She says she's afraid and doesn't want to go to the hospital. Well, tell your sister, sometimes going to the hospital is the best thing you can do because they can help you there. I heard her and I don't care. I want to stay home. Okay, um, my sister's really sick. I don't want her to overhear this, but send an ambulance right away. Okay, dear. Thank you for calling. We'll send an ambulance right away. Molly, what are you saying? Um, nothing. I, I think you should just rest, okay, Daisy? I have to go get dressed now. Why, Molly? Um, I just do. Oh, my gosh. My sister's going to be so mad when she sees that I, I called an ambulance, but I think she really needs one. Molly, maybe I just need to have some Pepto-Bismol. Uh, Daisy, I'm not so sure that that's going to help. It looks like you're starting to run a fever now, too. Oh, wait. I hear somebody outside. Is that an ambulance I hear? Um, uh, no. Molly, you better not have caught an ambulance. Oh, yeah. She's totally going to be super mad at me about this one. But it's for her own good. Hi there. I'm Paramedic Smith. Uh, where's the patient? She's right this way, but she's really angry that there, there's a person here to take her by ambulance. Okay, well, I work for EMS, so um, I'm just going to see if I can talk her into going to the hospital. Because it sounds like maybe she needs to go. Yeah, good idea. Daisy, someone's here to see you. It better not be a... Oh my gosh, it's a paramedic. Oh, my stomach. Okay, sweetheart. All right, Molly, why don't you stand back over there, okay? I'm going to get in and take a look and see what's going on. Okay, Daisy, why don't you tell me what your symptoms are, honey? No, I'm not going to the hospital. Daisy, you don't want to get sick and die, do you? No, not really. Your sister's right. The hospital can help you. We have doctors and specialists there who will know exactly why your stomach hurts so much. And um, you have a pretty high temperature, so I'm going to need to take you in the ambulance. I'll be with you every step of the way, Daisy. Every step. I can't believe you called 911, Molly. Well, what would you have me do, Daisy? I mean, you're sick. You have to go to the hospital. Fine, Molly. Whatever. Daisy, I care about you. I'm really worried. Something is definitely not right. I know, Molly. That's why I'm so scared. I'm so scared. Oh, well, hi there. How can I help you? I'm just waiting for my sister to be wheeled in. She's having horrible stomach pain, doctor. I will take super good care of your sister. What's your name? Molly, and my sister's name is Daisy. Well, don't worry about a thing, Molly. We're going to fix your sister up. Thanks, because I'm really worried about her. Okay, Daisy. Thank you for being the most difficult patient in the entire world. Whatever, paramedic. Just drop me in the bed already. Daisy, no need to be rude. Well, ow, my stomach hurts. I can't help it. You. It's probably just gas, but it's better to check it out. Ugh, that paramedic tried to give me a ride back out into the hall. I told her it wasn't even my break time yet. <laughs> Molly, this isn't a laughing battle. Oh, sorry, but your doctor has a good sense of humor. What a great bedside manner you have. Oh, thank you. Okay, Daisy, you have quite a high fever and stomach pain. I'd like to give you an x-ray. I want my mom. Don't worry, Daisy. I already called Mom. She's rushing here right now. Okay, Daisy. I just need you to get right inside the x-ray machine. Excellent. 
It's really loud in here! Sorry about that. The machine is a little noisy. Okay, Dactyl. Tell it to me, so wait. What's happening to me? Am I going to go to the to the other side? The other side of what? <laughs> the hospital? No way. No, is it? Am I going to die? Oh, wow. Well, I can see exactly what the problem is. What is it? You have appendicitis. Appendo what? I don't want to have a panda in my stomach. Oh, no. Not a panda. Appendicitis. Yeah, precisely. A panda in my stomach. No, 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 no. Uh, you have something in your body called an appendix. And, well, yours is not working right, so we need to take it out. What? I need my appendix. No, you don't need your appendix, really. <laughs> it doesn't really do anything for you, except for be annoying. I don't want to have surgery. This is the worst day of my life. Daisy? Daisy? Mommy! <laughs> I was so scared without you. Oh, honey, I'm so sorry, but I'm here now. Everything's going to be okay, I promise. They say I have appendicitis. I know, honey. You are going to have to have your appendix out. I don't want to. That's scary. It's going to be okay, Daisy. I know it is. Easy for you to say. You get to keep your appendicitis. Oh, honey. It's your appendix. Appendix. I want to call it a panda, okay? Okay, Daisy. Whatever you say. Oh, look, Daisy. I think they're going to be coming to take you to your surgery now. Mom, I could just stay here. Oh, my stomach! And live with your stomach like this? I don't think so, honey. You need to have this surgery. Everything will be okay. Here comes the doctor now. Okay, time to get that appendix out. Ah! It's Daisy Voorhees! Oh, <laughs> I kid, I kid. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Wow, uh, you really do have a good sense of humor. <laughs> Except for I think this one kind of scared my sister a little. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is crazy town. Okay, Daisy, this might pinch a little, but it's anesthesia, which means you'll fall asleep and you won't feel any of your operation. I don't like shots very much. It'll only hurt for just a second. Ready? Okay. All done. All right, now you should start counting backwards from 10. Ready? 10, 9, 8, <sighs> seven, six. Okay, the patient is out. Time to take out her appendix. Molly, what are you doing? I'm just running back and forth. I'm feeling a little bit nervous about Daisy right now. Molly, everything's going to be fine, I promise, honey. Oh my gosh, I hope she's okay. I hope she's okay. I hope she's okay. I hope she's okay. Molly, sit down, please. Okay. Oh, I'm super nervous. Mom, is Daisy going to wake up? Or is she in a coma? No, Molly, she's not in a coma. She's just coming out of anesthesia. Let's go again. Hee hee. Ha ha ha. Hee hee. Why is she laughing hysterically? Um, well, sometimes people do funny things when they're coming out from anesthesia. Daisy, are you awake? I'm going to eat all the ice creams with pickles on top. <laughs> I'm going to ride a unicorn through the sky. <laughs> and I like cheese doodles. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I've only got one thing to do. Mm, this is a delicious cheeseburger. Mm, sorry, I'm on my lunch break. But I wanted to come in and tell you guys that, well, everything went well. Great. <laughs> I can't wait to make a video about this. I love unicorns and I'm going to fly on board while I eat ice cream with pickles. Do -do -do -do. <laughs> oh, Daisy, <laughs> you are so out of it. It's fabulous. I'm just glad that Daisy is completely okay. Me too. And I'm glad that I can show all the YouTube fans how cray cray Daisy acts when she's coming out of anesthesia. <laughs> what are you laughing about? I want to laugh too. <laughs> oh, Daisy, you're not going to like this video at all. Molly, come on. Mom said we have to go to bed. But it's summer.
more. Look, the sun is still out. I can't go to sleep with the sun still out. Well, Molly, in some countries, the sun stays out all night long. So you're just not going to go to bed? Exactly. Wait a minute. Seriously? The sun stays up all night? Yeah, for a certain part of the year, it does in certain countries. But not in my country. No, but can you imagine 24 hours of sunlight? That must be really weird. Yeah, exactly. But I would just go swimming and eat snacks and stay up the entire time. Oh, brother. Well, you can't. You have to go to bed because Mom said so. Ugh, I can't wait till I'm a grown-up and I can do whatever I want. Yeah, being a grown-up's gonna be pretty amazing. What do you think it's gonna be like, Molly? Well, this is what I sort of envision. Ah, there's so much work to do as a grown-up. It feels like my chores are never done. Okay, I just gotta mop a little bit here. Ah, oh, these girls make huge messes everywhere. I wish someone would have told me that growing up was such a trap. I would have stayed a kid forever. And that's what I imagine it'll be like to be an adult. No, 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 Molly. Everyone knows it's sunshine, rainbows, and beautiful love. What? What are you talking about? I imagine being a grown-up goes something like this. Today we're gathered to join the hearts and hands of Prince Liam and Princess Daisy. Oh my gosh, Liam. I can't believe we're getting married. This is the happiest day of my life. I know what you mean, Daisy. You being my princess, it will make me happy forever. Okay, uh, let's get to the ceremony here. I have to get pizza. I'm really hungry. But we paid you for the entire hour. Yeah, are you gonna marry us or not? I'm trying to, but you two keep talking. Okay, do you want to be a princess and do you marry this guy? I do. And do you want to be her prince and marry this girl? I do. You're married. Congratulations. Now I'm gonna go get a pizza. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> That's what you think it's going to be like to be a grown-up? I know it's going to be like that, Molly. But you're not a princess. I will be once I marry Prince Liam. There's no such thing as Prince Liam. You don't know that. There could be a prince out there with the name Liam. And he's going to want to marry me, Daisy, the most beautiful flower in the whole world. <laughs> <laughs> Keep dreaming, Daisy. Well, if you think you're so smart and you know exactly what the future is going to be like, why don't you tell me what you think you're going to be like as a grown-up? Okay. I have it all worked out. <sighs> it's been such a long day. I can't wait to get out of here. I need to feed my dog. Don't they know I have a life outside of work? <sighs> hey, uh, I'm here to make a deposit. Luke? It is that you? Molly, I haven't seen you since, well, high school graduation. How are you? Oh, I'm good. I just got this important job at the bank. I basically spent my entire life here. Oh, wow, that's a great job. I started a tech company and, well, I'm here to deposit boatloads of cash. Whoa, glad to see you've done so well for yourself. Oh, thanks, Molly. <laughs> hey, um... I was wondering, uh, would you like to have dinner with me and catch up? Really? That, that sounds amazing. Sure. You look really good, Molly. You're so grown up now. You too, Luke. So, um, when do you want to go out to dinner? How about right now? The bank's about to close. Sounds really amazing. Sure, just let me log off and, um, I'll meet you wherever you want. Okay, I'll see you at the diner in five. Wow, Luke's back in my life and I'm about to go on a date with him. Woohoo! Whoa, is that Luke's sports car? He really has done well for himself. Hey, Molly, over here. Uh, sorry, Luke. Uh, this date was last minute, and, uh, I didn't have time to change out of my bank uniform. No problem, Molly. I don't care what you're wearing. Let's go inside and get something delicious for dinner. It's so good to see you, Molly. It's so good to see you, too, Luke. Where do you live now? Well, I was living in San Francisco, but I really miss Brookhaven, so I decided to move back. What? You live in Brookhaven again? Yeah, and the truth is, I really wanted to see you. You did? Yeah, I really like you. I really like you too. I couldn't help but overhear your conversation, and I just want to say, don't do it. Don't do what? Don't fall in love. It's a trap. It's evil. It, uh, true love doesn't exist. Whoa, you sound kind of jaded. <laughs> did you get a broken heart? She must have. Yeah, so? Oh, love is it's fake. Um, I don't think all love is fake. You just haven't met the right person yet. Uh, what's your name? Cindy. And, um, okay, fine. What do you want for your order? Whoa, <laughs> could you be a little nicer, please? I've had a very long flight from San Francisco. Well, 
Um, Cindy here just feels a little sad, Luke, because, um, her heart is broken. Okay, Cindy, well... I'm gonna leave you a really big tip, and that'll probably make your day a lot better. Yeah, it really will. But love is still fake! Whoa, Cindy definitely has a chip on her shoulder. Um, uh, suddenly I'm not feeling very hungry. What about you, Molly? Uh, me either. Bye, Cindy! I'll still leave you a tip, though. Just don't want to be around someone who doesn't believe in love. Yeah, exactly. How about we go for a walk instead, Molly? Sounds fun! Let's go! Whoa, look! The moon is huge tonight! I know, right? So cool. Whoa, Molly, we've been talking and walking for so many hours. It's morning. Jiminy Cricket. <laughs> I'm going to be really tired for work today. It was so nice catching up with you, Molly. The hours just went by without even me noticing. I know what you mean. Hey, look, there's the old cemetery. Remember when the kids at school used to dare each other to go in there? Yeah, but we're grown-ups now. We're not afraid of the cemetery. Look, looks like there's a fresh grave. I double dog dare you to go in there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, Luke. All right, fine. Just for old time's sake. Wow. Well, what's that sound? Look inside, Molly. I triple dog dare you. Okay, fine. Hello? Is anybody. Ah! What's that? Bah! Ah! It's Luke! It's a. It's a. It's a. It's a. A zombie! What? A, a zombie? Bah! Luke! Run! Ah! zombie all those years someone dared me to go into the graveyard i never did and i think i was probably smarter for that molly is that you are you okay molly come on get in my car no zombies are fast we have to find somewhere to hide i have the key to the bank come on i'll let us in and we'll hide in here okay you think this is a good idea absolutely come on we can go hide behind the desk the zombie will never think to look in the bank they're too dumb well molly i i have to say this first date really was Anything but boring. I have to agree, Luke. I kind of wish it didn't end with a zombie trying to kill us. Brains. Oh my gosh. Luke, the zombie is inside the bank? How'd they get in? I don't know, Molly, but I think we might have left the door unlocked. Oh, man. Money. <laughs> what? Mo Stop beating your head against the ATM. Oh, M G! It's trying to break in! I didn't think they cared about money, just brains! Apparently this zombie is also money hungry. <laughs> Maybe they want a new outfit. Wait a minute. Did they just steal all the money? Get back here! Molly, stay low! You don't want it to come after our brains again, do you? Just let it take the money! Oh my gosh! The, the, the alarm's going off! Wait a minute. Is it taking your car? Luke! Oh! My sports car! Come back here! Ah! Luke, wait! Come back! Are we going to have a second date? I've got to go get my car. Get back here, zombie. I'm going to get you. Okay, well, call me. Oh, my gosh. I have to call my boss and tell them that the bank's been robbed. Okay, it's ringing. It's, it's ringing. Why are the police here? Okay, good. This is perfect. I didn't call the police, but they can help me. Hello? In here. In here. The bank's been robbed. Hands in the air. What? No, I, I didn't. I didn't do it. Hands up. Okay, but I'm just saying, I, I didn't rob the bank. Well, you're the only one here who did. I can explain this whole thing, Mr. Police Officer. It was a zombie back from the dead. <laughs> That's the best one I've heard yet. Hands behind your back. But I would never steal from the place I work, ever. I don't believe you. You're arrested. But but there was a zombie and... and, 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 and You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. So I suggest stop talking about a zombie. You sound very crazy. But it's the truth! Shh! Okay, fine. All right, into the police car. Oh my gosh. This has turned out to be a crazy date! You're going to be put in prison for a long time. What? No, I'm not. I need a second date with Luke. Who's Luke? Who cares? You're in trouble, you thief! What? But I didn't do it! It was a zombie! Like I said... Shh. Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. I'm stuck in jail forever. Molly? Is that you? Luke! Oh my gosh, Luke! They think I stole all the money from the bank! Even though I don't even have it, what would I do with it? That silly zombie ruined everything! Now there's these bars between us. Luke, 
I, I, I'm missing you. I'm missing you too, Molly. Also, by the way, you look great in orange. That's a great color on you. Oh, thanks. I thought this prison outfit was kind of drab. You can make anything fab. You can take drab to fab. Oh, Luke, you say the sweetest things. Molly, there's only one thing for us to do. What, Luke? Be together. Stand back. Luke, what are you going to do? I'm going to hotwire this and I'm going to get in here. And I'm going to open the bars and you're going to get out. What? Luke, I'm out! Thank you! Now come on, Molly, run! Oh my gosh, the sirens are going off! Ah, there's the police! Run! I shouldn't have eaten that second cupcake at lunch today. Molly, come in here! The police will never think to look in the church. Wow, this is a really nice church. I know, right, Molly? Um, so, uh, since we're already here at the church and everything, maybe, uh, we should... Get married. What? Get married? Are you serious? I just broke out of prison. What better time for us to commit our lives to one another? Well, if you really think so, then let's do it. Really? Yeah, I've loved you my whole life, Luke. Let's do this. We are gathered here today to join Luke and Molly in holy matrimony. Wait a minute. Did you just break out of prison? What? What are you talking about? You're wearing that orange jumpsuit. How rude! This is my wedding dress. I have been planning this day for months. I went to this special bridal shop that's very exclusive and picked this out. And you're saying it looks like a prison outfit? I'm very sorry. Okay, yeah, it's, it's a beautiful dress. Okay, can we get on with the wedding? Do you take this woman to be your wife? I do. Forever and ever. Oh, Luke, I love you. And do you take this guy, Luke, to be your husband forever? I do! I do! I do! Then you may kiss the bride! <laughs> Molly, that's the most ridiculous future I've ever heard in my life! <laughs> what? It, it could happen. Yeah, right, Molly. First, you go on a date with Luke. Hey, that's believable. Uh, sure. Then there's a zombie. Uh-huh. Also could happen. Yeah, okay, sure. <laughs> then the zombie robs the bank and you get blamed for it and go to prison. Uh-huh. Also could happen. <laughs> Ridiculous, Molly. And then, if Luke breaks you out of a high-security prison and you guys get married, <laughs> that's the silliest and craziest, most ridiculous story I've ever heard. Go to bed, Molly. <laughs> Before my stomach explodes from laughing. Hey, Daisy, it could happen. It could happen. Uh -huh, Molly. <laughs> sure. Good night, Molly. I think it could happen. It really could. Well, Molly, I I'll see you in the morning. Have a good sleep. Hopefully you don't have another weird dream. I'm telling you, zombies are real. They really are real. <sighs> OMG! I can't believe I have detention again! Oh, man. Detention? Molly, take your usual seat. Um, you know you're a regular in detention when your teacher writes your name and a message on the board. Ay, ay, ay. Hey, Molly. Thanks again for making me have to sit after school with you in detention. Sorry, Mrs. Smith. Uh-huh. So sorry that you don't do your homework. Oh, boy. This is going to be the worst detention ever. I can see it already. It's the worst detention for you because you don't do what you're told. And you end up here over and over and over. You know, I have a life. I actually had a date tonight at Brookhaven Diner and I had to cancel. I haven't had a date in six months because I sit in detention with you all the time. Uh, sorry? Please go to the board and erase the message and then write, I will do my homework a million times. Oh, a million? Holy guacamole. I will do my homework. Period. Again, Molly. I... I don't want to! You have to do what you're told, Molly. I will do... my... worst. <laughs> Molly! Do I need to give you another detention? You tell me, Mrs. Smith. Do you want to miss another date night? Ugh! Molly! Take your seat and please be quiet. Okay. <laughs> this won't be so bad. It's only two hours. 
Do, 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 do. Molly, quiet. Okay. <laughs> Molly, you're dismissed from detention. Molly, did you fall asleep? Huh? What? Huh? Try not to keep me in here for another detention this week. I do have a life, you know. <laughs> freedom, freedom, f -f -f freedom. Ah, I can't wait to go home and eat a cupcake. Molly, there you are. Daisy, what's going on? You know how I have that secret, well, not so secret science lab? Yeah, what about it? I, I, I created a time machine. Holy guacamole, you did? Wow, you're definitely going to win the science fair. I didn't do it for the science fair. I created a weather machine for that. Well, anyway, what were you going to tell me? Uh, it's, it's so bad, Molly. I don't even know if I can say it. Just say it. Spit it out. I need a cupcake. Molly, I went to the future. And yours is dark. Your f future is dim. It's, it's, it's. It's what? It's bad, Molly. It's so bad. Can't be that bad. Yes, Molly, follow me to the lab, and, and I'll show you what it saved on my computer. It recorded the future. Whoa, that sounds pretty fancy. Yeah, you can watch the whole thing like a movie. A sad movie. A pathetic movie! Wow, you're making my life sound, well, really horrible. Molly, just come with me. Whoa, Daisy, your science lab has seriously gotten an upgrade. Look at those! Those are the dual rays that send you back in time. <laughs> Wait, what, do I turn into a squirrel? No, 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 Molly. That's just my screen saver. Oh, well, um, when's the movie going to start playing? Any minute, Molly. Scanning for viruses. Um, well, I don't think my future is going to be that bad. Look what I saw, Molly. Look what I saw! I don't want to stay at your crummy motel anyway. Just because I didn't pay you for two weeks, I mean, doesn't mean you get to kick somebody out. Rude! I have no place to live. Ugh, my stomach is growling. Hmm, I wonder if I have any money. No! Aww. I'm hungry, I have no place to live. I kind of remember my teacher saying that if I didn't do my homework and pay attention, I was going to end up in this boat. But she's a liar! Ooh. I wonder if there's any leftovers at the motel. Hey, don't judge. I'm hungry. This dumpster has as good of food as any refrigerator. Ooh, leftover burrito. Mm, it doesn't even taste older than a week. Mm, that's pretty good. You know, I'm getting pretty sick of eating out of dumpsters and staying in these crummy motels. Mm, I need to do something to change this. <laughs> I just got a wonderful, wonderful idea. I could rob Brookhaven Bank. <laughs> it's two o'clock in the morning. That means no one's gonna be working at the bank. <laughs> Wait a minute, why is somebody working at the bank? Hello, we just changed our hours to 24. <laughs> 24 seven, you can come in and start a bank account. Except for it doesn't even look like you have any money. Wait, what? Are you judging me right now just because I'm wearing these clothes? These are very fashionable. They're also half missing. <laughs> Before you start a bank account, you may want to upgrade your outfit. And what's that smell? Oh, uh, I had a dumpster burrito for lunch. Ooh, yuck. No, don't judge. They're pretty good. And they're free. Um, yeah, so, um, I am not here to start a bank account. What are you here to do? We don't let people sleep in the bank. What are you doing with that fire extinguisher? I am robbing the bank. Now, give me all the money. Oh, don't hit me with that fire extinguisher. No, you're going to ruin all the computers. Can I pay you in a, a Doritos or, or, or in a burritos or a taco? Are you nervous right now? Yeah, I've never been robbed before. Well, you're in luck. I've never robbed someone before or banked before or anything before, but I'm sick of staying in crummy hotels and eating out of dumpsters, so give me all the money. Okay, H here you go. Okay, give it to me! All right, I just don't want to lose my job. What? $27? Yeah, we don't carry cash overnight. Ah! I just robbed this bank for $27? I can't even buy a new pair of shoes! 
And as you can see, I'm not even wearing shoes. Um, I, I should have told you before, no shirt, no shoes, no service. Do I look like I care about rules? Wait, what's that? Did you call the cops? Yeah, that's protocol. Ah! Why did you do that? Wait, is that door locked? Yeah, also protocol. You're basically going to jail. Wait, no! Oh, here, you can have the $27 back. I don't really want it. Yeah, no, no, no. You wanted the $27. You need to stick with it. <laughs> Good luck in prison, criminal. Well, I guess at least I'll have um, three meals a day and a place to sleep. Yeah, and you'll be there forever! Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. Nobody knows. Hey, keep it quiet in there. I'm trying to eat my donut. Oh my gosh, I haven't eaten a donut in so long. Can I please have that? <laughs> Criminals don't get donuts. Give me it. Give me that donut! <laughs> I open the door. Ah! Close that door before she gets out! Who are you talking to? Oh yeah, I'm the only one here. Well, I closed the door and I ate the donut. <laughs> you do the crime, you do the time. Oh yeah, well, uh... <laughs> <laughs> you think that I can smell that, but I can't. You didn't punish me. Oh man, I'm stuck in here with stinky doo-doos! Ew! Oh, these old bones aren't what they used to be. Molly, um, I have great news for you. Oh, what is it, Sheriff? <laughs> I really need to take my nap. You've been in here for 60 years for robbing the bank, and today you're finally getting out. You can have your freedom. Oh, really? Is this some sort of trick? No, and try to be a good person. I will try. Uh, no promises. Oh my gosh, freedom. This is amazing. I don't know what to do with myself. I'm so excited. Goodbye, cruel police station. Look at Brookhaven. It looks so different. I don't even think I need this walker anymore. I feel so footloose and fancy free. Oh, oh, my heart. Oh, oh. Oh. oh my gosh, did that prisoner just die? Molly? Molly? Well, oh well, I guess she paid the price. <laughs> I guess I could do some CPR. Nope, not working. She's dead. Holy guacamole! Daisy! I, 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 I spend my entire life in prison for $27 and then I die in the street afterwards? Molly, I told you your future was dim. You need to change your ways, Molly. Oh, oh this is what's going to happen. Holy guacamole. Oh, man. Mm. Molly, what are you doing? There's no food allowed in my science lab. Sorry. I just eat when I'm stressed out, and this burrito tastes delicious. Molly! Sorry. You stick it up the whole place with the smell of taco. It's a burrito. Not a taco. Whatever. It smells like guacamole. Gross. Sorry. Uh, I really am just freaking out. Well, Molly, you can change your future at any time. And I can go and check on it if you like. You know, once you've changed your evil ways. Really? How? Well... I can, um, go into the future again. Oh, wow. That sounds crazy. Yeah, but you need to do something about not doing your homework, not listening. You know, basically being bad. I am. I'll never be bad again. Not ever! Um, but I can't promise not eating burritos. Mm, that's so good. Molly, get out of my lab! No, no, I can't, I can't, I can't take the test. I'm, I'm not ready. I, I, I didn't study about pink unicorns. No, no. Shh. Molly, Molly, are you, Molly, are you still sleeping? Oh, what? Pink unicorns. Molly, you, you're having a weird dream about pink unicorns. Seriously, wake up. It's time for school. I don't want to have to spray you with the fire extinguisher again. No. No, I can't wake up. Too tired. Too sick. Ugh. Molly! Get out of this bed right now! 
Ow, Dizzy, quit jumping at me. That hurts. Dizzy, I really don't feel good. Molly, I don't believe you. Are you seriously going to crawl out of bed? Holy guacamole, the bus is going to be here any minute. We're going to be late for school. Daisy, I told you already. I don't feel good. Ugh. Molly, you never feel good when it means you have to go to school. Quit faking it and get ready. Who, who do you think you are anyway, my mom? No, but mom's not here right now. She had to go to work early, so she said, I'm in charge. So get ready for school. Ugh, I really don't feel good. And it's not just because we have a test in math class today. My stomach feels all funny and my head hurts. Well, I guess I better go into the bathroom and get ready or Daisy will grab me for life. Oh, wait, I went into the wrong room. That's how sick I am. I don't even know where I am right now. Ugh. I'm gonna throw up! I'm gonna throw up! Blech. Oh! I really don't feel good. <laughs> Ew, Molly, I heard that! Try not to eat so many beans. Well, I guess I better brush my teeth. I don't want to have stinky breath. Okay, let's see. Where is my toothbrush? Where, where? Okay, there it is. Molly, come on! The school bus is here! Ugh. Well, I got to brush my teeth a little bit. Guess I don't even have time for breakfast. Oh, well. My stomach hurts anyway. Molly, did you seriously just jump over the railing again? Mom told you not to do that. Look, I know you think you're in charge this morning, but I'm not in the mood, Daisy. Don't be rude to me, Molly. I don't care. I I'm not in the mood. I'm not in the mood. Molly, where's your backpack? Oh, yeah, I forgot my backpack. All right, let me grab it. Got it. Molly, that's not your backpack. I know. My backpack's in the washer. All I have is a suitcase. And it feels so heavy. Molly, get on the school bus. We don't want to be late. Daisy, you're always so worried we're going to be late. We're not going to be late, I promise. Yeah, because I annoy you all the time and tell you, come on, let's go. <laughs> Molly, why are you driving the school bus? What is going on? Molly, you cannot drive a school bus. Well, the school bus driver quit last week. So it's my job to drive us to school. Oh my god, we're all gonna die! Daisy, seriously, quit being so dramatic. Molly! Molly, that's not a wound! Oh my god, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die! My sister is so dramatic, I swear. Molly, quit driving on the sidewalk! Oh boy, this isn't gonna be good. You're gonna crash into the school! Well, I got us here on time, though. Oh, brother, look at this. It's, it's... The bus is in the... Okay, just back the bus up. Okay, fine. I thought my park job was just fine. Molly, you parked inside the school. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, let's just get school over with. Ugh, I'm really not feeling too good. My stomach hurts. Ugh. Oh, hey, Molly. Good morning. Whoa, Molly. You look like a zombie. I'm not really a zombie. I don't crave brains or anything. But my stomach is really upset. Oh, Molly, you look like maybe you have a flu bug or something. Uh, you're my best friend and I love you and stuff, but could you sit over there? Because I don't want it. Yeah, okay, fine. I wonder where the teacher is. She should be here any minute. There's the teacher. Man, she's late. She should get detention. I heard that, Molly. Good morning. Traffic was terrible, and the school bus driver was driving insane. Um, I don't know who the school bus driver is. Me either, but they should get fired. I agree. I totally agree. Hey, I got us here on time, didn't I? Okay, Molly, since you're so talkative today, why don't you come up to the board and solve this problem? Oh, man, do I have to? Yes, Molly, please. Okay, fine. Oh, I, I don't know. I, I don't know the answer to this. I also don't feel so good. I, 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 don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't feel so good. Molly? Molly, are you okay? Molly, say something. She's just faking it because she doesn't want to have to do the problem on the board. Molly, should I do CPR? No. No, I'm awake. I'm awake. Oh, my gosh. Molly, what's wrong? I think I might have the flu or something. Oh, feels so good. Okay, Molly. Well, let me help you up. Come on. There you go. Okay, why don't you head right to the school nurse? Okay. 
She's faking it! Um, Daisy, uh, she's actually green. She feels so sick. She's definitely not faking it. She probably just painted herself that way with makeup. Daisy, do you want to find out by me coughing on you? No, don't cough on me. You have some sort of weird disease. See, I guess I'm not faking it anymore. Am I, Daisy? Ugh, off to the school nurse. Uh, uh, nurse Susie. Oh, Molly, what brings you into the nurse's office today? Nurse Susie, I, I, do, I don't f feel very good. I passed out in my math class. Oh my gosh, Molly. Okay, come right in and lay down on the magic cot. Okay. Why is it called magic? Well, because when you lay on it, sometimes you feel better and you can go back to class. Would you like to try that? Yeah, oh, oh, okay, I'll lay here for a few minutes. Okay, I'll be back to check on you. Bye. Ugh, I still don't feel good. Ugh. Molly, how are you feeling? The magic cot didn't work. The magic cot didn't work. Oh my goodness, Molly. Hmm, this sandwich is delicious. Oh, that's gonna make me throw up. Get out of here with that sandwich! Ooh, you're a little grumpy. Okay, I'm gonna take you into the x-ray room and just take a quick look at your lungs, okay? Fine. Ugh. Okay, Molly, hop right into the x-ray machine. This won't hurt a bit. Okay. Ugh. I think maybe, um, I'm dying! You're not dying, Molly. Trust me. Oh, my. It looks as if your lungs are congested. I think you definitely have the flu. We're going to have to call your mom and you're going to go home. Now, tell me why exactly you came into school today. You could pass this disease to lots of other... Well, it's not a disease, but you could pass this virus to a lot of other people. Um, because my sister said I was faking it. And my mom left her in charge. She had to go to work early. Well, viruses are not anything to take lightly. You definitely have a fever and congestion in your lungs. You need to be home in bed resting. Now, what's your mom's phone number? It's one, two, seven, three, six, five, four. All right, I'll ring her right now. Hello? Hi, this is the school nurse, Nurse Susie. Oh no, which one of them are in trouble now? No, no, it's the school nurse. How many months does Molly have detention for? No, no, no. <laughs> um, Molly is actually sick. What? She is? Is she okay? She appears to have some lung congestion and a fever. It's just a typical virus, but I need you to come pick her up. Absolutely. Tell Molly I'll be right there. Okay, thanks so much. Molly, your mom says she'll be right here. Come on, you can go lay back down on the magic cot until she gets here. Are you going to make me go back to class? Absolutely not, Molly. You're probably contagious. And you need to be home in your own comfortable bed. Even the magic cot can't work this time. Now just close your eyes and rest till your mom gets here. Thank you. Oh, I don't feel so good. Nurse Susie. <coughs> oh my, Daisy. Are you okay? Wow, you look just like your sister. I'm not a zombie, I swear. I just feel so sick. I look terrible. Oh, she infected me with her disease. Actually, correction. She infected you with a virus. Ah, oh, Come on, I'll give you an x-ray and see if you have the same lung congestion. If you do, I'll send you home and you can rest. Ah, oh, that would be good. Please call my mom right away. <coughs> This won't hurt a bit, Daisy. Okay, if you say so. Oh, but my stomach hurts. Just as I suspected. Lung congestion, just like Molly. Okay, and you have a fever. I'm going to call your mom. Hello? Hi, um, I'm so sorry to do this again, but it's Nurse Susie. Oh no, did Molly forget her backpack? I just got her into bed. No, no, no. Molly didn't forget anything, but you're going to have to come back down to the school. Wait, what? D did you forget to tell me she has attention? No, it's Daisy. She has the same virus as Molly. Oh, no, Daisy. 
Okay, well, tell Daisy I'll be there in like five minutes to pick her up. Will do, thank you. Daisy, your mom says she's coming soon. Oh, I'm so glad. <laughs> I'm gonna go home so bad, I don't feel good. Oh, Daisy, it's all right. Your mom said she'll be here in like five minutes. So everything's gonna be all right, okay? I feel bad because I told my sister she was faking it. And I made her come to school because my mom left me in charge. Oh, Daisy. Well, in your defense, Molly does fake being sick sometimes and gets detention. I know, but now that I've caught this virus, I know exactly how she feels. It's horrible! Oh, Daisy, everything will be fine, I promise. You'll be over this virus in no time. Now, come on. You can lay on the magic cot until your mom gets here. What's so magic about it? It doesn't make me feel better. Why does everybody call it the magic cot? Don't worry, Brookie. Now that you're at the school nurse, everything will be fine because they have a magic cot here. I don't know about that magic cot, Brittany. I don't think it really works. Especially not if you hurt your leg like I did. Everything's going to be fine, Brookie. Trust me. Although I'm not really sure how you did that crazy thing at the playground. I, I know. It just it hurts so bad. The school nurse will help you, I promise. I just keep thinking about my accident. It was horrible. Hey, Brittany, want to see me backflip? I've been working on this in gymnastics. Um, Brookie, I don't think that's a really good idea. That's a really high ladder and... And I don't, I don't, I don't know. What? I can't hear you. Watch this. Oh my gosh. Ow! Brookie? Brookie, are you okay? No, my leg. I think it's broken. Oh my gosh. It just keeps playing over and over in my mind. Like in slow motion. Oh, Brookie, I'm so sorry you got hurt. It's 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 horrible. It is horrible. Hey girls, what brings you? Whoa! What happened to you, Brookie? Um, she fell on the playground. Well, actually, she was doing a backflip off the tallest slide ladder that we have in the playground. What? Why were you doing that? Oh, I'm getting so tired. I've seen so many students today. Well, you better wake up because Brookie here needs your help, Nurse Susie. Okay, Brookie, come on into the x-ray room and we'll take a look at what's going on inside your leg. Oh, okay, I'm really nervous. Don't be nervous, Brookie. An x-ray doesn't hurt. One time I fell and hurt my arm and I had to have an x-ray. It didn't hurt at all. Okay. I'll wait out here for you. Just as I suspected, you definitely have a broken ankle. I'm going to have to call your mom and she'll have to take you to the hospital. Oh no, this is the worst news ever. And just hang tight, Brookie. I'm going to call your mom now. Hello? Uh-huh, yeah. Yeah, mom's on your way, Brookie. Yeah, Brookie got hurt at school today. I'm so sorry to tell you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no. I think she's broken her ankle. Yes, you'll have to take her to the hospital. I'll call ahead for you. Okay, see you in 15 minutes. Goodbye. Your mom's on her way, Brookie, okay? Okay. <laughs> I'm just scared. Everything's going to be all right, I promise. Oh, this was the longest day in the history of days. Oh, I can't wait to go home. Oh. Ah, oh, that was such a long day, but my favorite show is on Survivor! OMG, I love this show so much! I wonder what's gonna happen to Matt. And and did Judy survive? Waffle is delicious. Oh my gosh, look at the time. I'm going to be late for school. Hey, wait a minute. Where's Molly? Oh man, she's not out of bed yet. Okay, I've got to go wake her up before she misses the bus. Molly! Molly, get out of bed. You're going to be late. Huh, what? No, I can't go today. That's what you say every day, Molly. Come on, it's time to get up. Don't make me come up there. 
Dizzy, I can't even see you right now, but you're being very loud and I, I can't deal with it. Molly, seriously! Get up! Get up! Get up! Ouch, I hit my head on the ceiling. Why did you tell me it was such a low ceiling? Why don't you go away and leave me alone? Oh, I feel like I'm gonna throw up. Ugh. Oh, really? You're gonna pretend you're sick? This fake sick routine is getting really old, Molly. I'm not! Look at my face! I have big red spots on it! Molly, you probably just... I don't know, like... Put a candle up to your face to make you extra warm. A candle? Do you see a candle anywhere? I'm sick! Now go away! I can't go to school today! Molly, if you fake being sick, you're probably gonna get grounded and you're gonna get detention. Yep, you should probably come to school. Daisy, I don't care what you're saying right now. Literally, go away! Away, Molly! Suit yourself! But you're definitely gonna get grounded for faking being sick. Uh, who wrote this question on the board? 2 plus 2 equals 5. Apparently, I have my work cut out for myself with these kids. Oh my gosh, if they don't know what 2 plus 2 equals, oh no. We'd have to send them home with a lot more homework. Okay, class, everyone, um, take a seat. Uh, Mrs. Smith, my sister won't be here because she's sick. I mean, wait, what? What? What's she doing here? Well, she looks like she's in class to me. Uh, where is everyone else, though? Oh, remember there was that cheerleading field trip today, so Sarah and all the cheerleaders will be late. Well, at least you two are here. All right, why don't you guys take out a piece of paper? We're going to do some math problems since it seems like the class thinks 2 plus 2 equals 5. Ay, ay, ay. I don't think that. I'm prepared. I know that it's 4, not 5. Huh, math. Ugh, my least favorite subject. Whatever. You always say all the subjects. Huh, what? How do you know me? I don't, I don't know you. What? Don't be ridiculous. Of course you know me. Oh, she's being so annoying today. Okay, class. Um, I'm just going to go over here and read a book and wait till you get done with your work. <laughs> Actually, I'm thinking in my mind about how I want to go on a vacation to Hawaii. <sighs> nice of you to join us and not pretend you were f fake sick today. Huh? What? No. I wasn't pretending to be fake sick. Sure you weren't. Yeah, right. You're always pretending you're fake sick to get out of school. But I'm glad you turned over a new leaf so you don't get detention. Uh, yeah, sure. Okay. Uh, could you leave me alone now? Because I'm trying to do my math homework. Um, alright, fine. I mean, you never were that interested in doing your homework before. Well, I need to do it now because I need to get good grades. <laughs> well, not really, but I'm trying, okay? Great job. I'm glad to hear it. Okay, you two. That's the bell for lunch. <laughs> You're dismissed. Oh, boy, lunch, my favorite. Oh, you couldn't have told me that twice. Everybody knows your, f your favorite is lunch. Huh, what am I going to get with my lunch money today? Probably pizza and a Coke and maybe some Doritos. Delicious. Why is Molly sitting all the way down there? I mean, I know that I'm her annoying sister, but she always sits at lunch with me. Oh, there you are, loser. Give me all your lunch money. Uh, do I know you? Yeah, you know me. Every single day you give me your lunch money. Duh. Uh, I don't give you my lunch money every day. Well, okay, only on days that it's a school day. But give me your lunch money. I'm hungry and I want extra Doritos. Why would anybody give you their lunch money? <laughs> I'm not giving you my lunch money. I'm hungry. I'm going to have pizza and soda and, and Doritos. You're going to give me your lunch money because I'm popular and I'm bullying you. So you have to. What? No, I don't give in to bullies. Goodbye. Give me your lunch money or else. Or else what? Or else I'm going to make your life a living nightmare. Uh-huh. Sure you are. Do I look afraid? Do I? Do I? Girls, girls, are you two fighting? There's no fighting allowed at school. Uh, tell her that? She's trying to take my lunch money. What? I told you if you ever told, there'd be consequences. Uh, yeah, the consequence is you're going to get detention. Goodbye. Sarah, are you trying to take Molly's lunch? Yeah, she gives me her lunch money every day. What's up with that? She doesn't want to today, and she tattletailed on me. 
Sarah, after lunch, you need to sit in detention for at least, uh, I don't know, an hour. Yeah, that sounds about right. Actually, no. You have to go through all of your classes today and then stay after for detention. What? After school detention? You can't do that. I have a cheerleading me. Well, I guess you're going to miss it. Oh, I cannot believe Molly. She'll pay for this. Man, I can't even believe that bully. Holy guacamole. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. I've never seen you stand up to Sarah quite like that before. But why don't you want to sit next to me? Uh, because I don't really know you. What? Yes, you do. I'm your sister. Huh? What? <laughs> That's very funny. Okay, you're acting really strange. I've got to get to English. I'll talk to you later. Okay, bye. I think you might want to be my new friend, but you are kind of strange in a really, really weird way. Wow, that was a crazy first day of school. Uh, everyone just acted so strange. Oh, well, I guess Brookhaven is just a little bit crazy. Uh, I'm kind of tired after that long day. Time to go home. Hey there, aren't you going to get a ride? I mean, you always get a ride with me. Um, no, I don't. Yes, you do, like every day, Molly. Oh, <laughs> I think you figured my name was Molly. It is your name, Molly. Do you want a ride or not? Uh, no, I'm going to walk. Uh, my parents always taught me not to take rides from strangers. Strangers? Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't know what's come over you, Molly, but it's definitely not good. Definitely not good. Okay, but I don't know why you keep calling me Molly. <laughs> oh, wait, see you. See you, Molly. I'm just, I'm over this. I don't like your pranks! Why is she thinking I'm pranking her? My name's Polly. She keeps calling me Molly. That girl's kind of weird. Uh, uh. Uh, now, where are my school books? I've got to get going on my homework. Uh, Molly? Is, is that you? Oh, Daisy. Uh. Molly, how did you get home before me? I, I totally drove a car and you walked. How did that happen? What are you talking about, Daisy? I've been here the entire day. Oh my gosh, Molly. I'm sick of your pranks. You were in school all day today. And you got Sarah detention, which was pretty awesome. Wait, what? No, I wasn't. Daisy, ugh. I've been sick all day. I mean, I'm feeling a little better now, but... Ugh, I've definitely been under the weather. Molly, you have not been here all day. Whoa, you do look like you've been sick. But... How is that possible? You were at school today and you weren't sick. And now you look really sick. I, I'm confused. I'm confused too. What are you talking about? I wasn't at school all day. Have you got a bonk on your head or something? What are you talking about? Molly, you were in class. All of the classes. And then Sarah tried to take your lunch money and you got her in trouble. And Daisy, that that wasn't me. I, I promise. I was here at the house. O-M-G! Molly! You, 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 you've been cloned! What? I swear, Molly, there was someone that looked exactly like you at school today. And if you weren't at school and you were homesick, then it has to be a clone! Holy guacamole! I have a clone! Molly, this is insane! Do you think an evil scientist cloned you? By the way, it wasn't me. When did you become a scientist? Or an evil one? I'm not an evil scientist, but... I am an aspiring scientist. Okay, yeah, but I don't think you know how to clone people yet, do you? Not yet, but I am building a rocket ship in my secret laboratory. I mean, is uh, <laughs> my science project in the kitchen. Yeah, that's it. What are you talking about right now? Never mind, my head still hurts from being sick today. Molly, I think you need to go out into Brookhaven and find this clone before she causes trouble. Good idea. But first, I need a waffle. I haven't eaten all day, and I'm starving. Um, I may or may not have eaten all the waffles. Daisy! Sorry. I can't believe I have a clone. This is seriously insane. Where could this clone be? <gasps> if a clone of me was anywhere, they'd be in the arcade or the ice cream shop. La, 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 la. This ice cream's delicious. <gasps> Bingo! The ice cream shop. O-M-G. 
Holy Kawaga Molly, that person looks just like me! Yep, definitely a clone. And they're eating mint chip ice cream, my favorite. Well, hello there. What? You look just like I do! Oh my gosh! This can't be happening! Oh, yes it is, clone. Oh, yes it is. <laughs> what? Oh my gosh, clone! Clone, are you okay? Um, okay. Don't, don't, don't wake up just yet. First, I have to eat your mint chocolate chip ice cream. <laughs> mm, it's delicious. Anyway, okay, clone, wake up! Wake up! Huh? What? What, 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 what just happened? Oh my gosh! You, you, you're me and I'm you! That's right, clone. You are my clone. <laughs> I'm your clone. <laughs> Maybe you're my clone. I'm Polly, by the way. I'm Molly. And you're my clone, Polly. No, Molly, you're my clone. No, you're my clone. No, you're my clone. Okay, listen. Uh, I was here first in Brookhaven, so Polly, you are a clone. Well, Molly, did you ever stop to think that maybe I'm just your long-lost twin? What? Long-lost twin? Yeah, last time I checked, no scientist in Brookhaven no, knew how to clone anybody, so it only makes sense. Good point, Polly. Holy guacamole, the resemblance is insane. Yeah, <laughs> we even like the Star Squad. We both have the shirt. And we like mint chocolate chip ice cream. Whoa, we're more alike than I thought. We're identical twins! Come on, you'll have to come home and live with me. Are you sure? Yeah, Daisy will love having another one of me around. <laughs> come on, I borrowed her car to come get find out where you were and uh, come get you, basically. Are you sure she's going to be cool with us living in her house? Well, I already live there, Polly, so it's really just adding you. Whoa, Molly, your house is super nice. Also, you're a very bad driver. Okay, Polly, do you want to drive? Uh, I'd love to, but I don't have my driver's license yet. <laughs> well, that's one thing we don't have in common. Come on, Polly. I'll introduce you to my sister, Daisy. Oh, Daisy. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> Did you know that they call um, raccoons trash pandas? Oh, my gosh. That is pretty funny. <laughs> that's totally funny. Wait, wait, I thought you were over there. Wait. Correction! I'm not her clone. I'm her twin! Oh no, this is gonna be bad. This is gonna be so bad! <laughs> I don't see how it could be bad. Two of me? <laughs> Sounds like paradise. I couldn't agree more, Molly. Ah! Please! This must be a nightmare! Somebody wake me up! Oh god, not two of the Molly! Uh, no! One of Molly, one of Polly. <laughs> Hey, Polly, uh, you want to jump on the couch? I'd love to, Molly. Molly, you're not supposed to jump on the... Polly, stop it! Oh, my God, there's two of them. I'm going to go insane. I really am. Stop it! Okay, um, how about we go up and read Daisy's diary? <laughs> what? No! Just kidding. That will definitely get you grounded, Polly. Don't do that. All right, let me show you around the house, Polly. Here is the kitchen. Um, and if you're hungry, we have... Lots of delicious stuff. Ice cream, waffles, uh, Reese's, uh, pizza, Coca-Cola, Gatorade and stuff. And then the healthy stuff. Only eat the healthy stuff. Don't listen to my sister. She's a goody two-shoes. Yeah, I'm starting to see that. How do you deal with her? She's annoying. Hey, I heard that. Finally, somebody's on my side. <laughs> hey, Daisy, we're going to watch TV. No, Molly, it's time to um watch my favorite show. It, it's about cooking and stuff. No, we're watching Brook High. Ooh, this show looks great, Molly. I thought so too, Polly. No, we're watching my show. It's the end of the discussion. Mom said I could watch it. Well, Mom's not here right now. Yeah, Mom's not here right now. Polly, you just moved in here. You, you can't even make a decision. Actually, correction. Polly is my long-lost twin. She lives here now. And two against one. That's not fair. You guys think exactly the same. Ooh, look, survival's on. Who cares about Survivor? Going back to Brook High. Wait a minute, where's Brook High? <gasps> Did you unprogram it? Okay, there it is. Molly, we've seen this episode a million times. Don't care. Uh, Polly, we're not allowed to have soda on the white couch. 
Sorry, don't care. <gasps> you spilled some of it. Oh, my. And you're eating ice cream, too. Ooh, that looks delicious. Can I have some? Sure, Molly. Here you go. That's my ice cream, and you're eating it on the couch. Oh, my God. I'm, I gotta go on a vacation. That's it. I'm back in the bag. I'm out of you. Why couldn't I find my long last twin? Because, Daisy, no one wants to be your twin. What? You're the worst twin sister ever. Actually, I think she's a great twin sister. Be quiet, Polly. No one asked you. I'm leaving. No one appreciates me here. Well, bye, Daisy. Looks like it's just you and me, Polly. That's awesome, Molly. I am totally down for just having a twin sister. Yeah, the one with pigtails was annoying anyway, right? Totally. Mom! 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 What is it, Molly? I'm kind of busy right now. Mom, you're always busy doing the dishes. <laughs> well, if you'd stop using a different cup every single time you need a drink, I probably wouldn't have to stand at the sink for two hours every day doing the dishes. <laughs> That's a good one, Mom. I mean, you're a mom. Your job is to do the dishes. Uh-huh, sure it is. I think I've got a new chore worked out for you. You can start doing the dishes. What? No. No, that's a bad idea. That's a terrible idea. Okay, Molly, what was your question? Mom, I was wondering if um Daisy and I could go to the park. Please, 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 please. I get your park, your park, too. I go park, too. What? No, you're too little, baby Kira. Um, Just the big girls are going. Um, Molly, you can go on one condition. Don't tell me I have to stand here and do the dishes for two hours. That's a horrible condition. No, Molly, I'll do the dishes. But you have to take your little sister. What? Yay! I go park, too. I go park. Oh, Mom, she's going to be such a pain. Molly, don't be rude to baby Kira. She looks up to you. Yeah, but Mom, she's so slow. Molly, take your baby sister to the park and have a good time. Fine. Come on, baby Kira. Daisy, are you ready to go to the park? Yeah, I was just shopping for some new school clothes. We have to take baby Kira. Wait, what? No, she's too little. She'll slow us down. I got to I go fast. Go super fast. Okay, well, try to keep up, baby Kira. Like you can. You're such a baby. Don't be me. That goes back. I have fun too. <sighs> Taking my little sister when I want to go have fun. Such a bummer. Whoa, baby Kira, you're actually pretty fast on that skateboard. I still beat both of you. You guys are such slow pokes. Wee! Day five! I like it! Okay, baby Kara, there's several rules at the park now that I'm in charge. Wow, Molly, you sure are bossy. Baby Kara. Ow! You almost hit me with the swing! What are you thinking, Daisy? That's not very safe. Baby Kara, come here, please. Baby Kara. Baby Kara! I have fun at the park. I like it. Die. Okay, I'm just gonna yell it to you then. Don't go in the pool because you can't swim very good. Oh, now you decided to listen. Don't get on the swings because you might fall off and get hurt. Don't go down the slide without supervision. I go down the swings. Whee! We did fine. Baby Kara, don't go so high. Baby Kara. Oh my gosh, Daisy, this is going to be an emergency. It's going to be an emergency. Molly, quit freaking out. She's going to be fine. Oh, you're probably right. She's not that little anymore. Wee! I can jump high! I feel uh, I can jump off. Uh, no, that's a horrible idea, Baby Kara. Don't do it. Baby Kara, do not jump off. Ay, ouch, 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 ouch. Baby Kara! Baby Kara, are you okay? Oh, my leg! Oh, it was so bad! Daisy, oh no! Baby Kara got hurt! What? What happened? Uh, duh, she jumped off the swing. Oh, man, she actually got hurt when she did that? Look at her. She's crying. She's, she's, she, her leg is on sideways. Her leg is on sideways. It's horrible. Okay, baby girl, I'm just going to pick you up, okay? I'll take you home. Mom will know what to do. Okay, well, let me pick you up. Oh, she's squiggling and she won't let me pick her up. I don't care what my leg well, You can't walk on your leg. Come on. Mom will know what to do. Yeah, Molly. Run as fast as you can. Baby Kira depends on it. Hang on, Baby Kira. We're almost there. Mom's probably doing the dishes. She's always doing the dishes. Mom! Mom, Baby Kira got her. Mom? Mom? Okay. 
I'm gonna sink you down, baby Kira. I, whoops, I didn't mean to drop you. Uh-oh. Ah, my dad don't day good. Molly, you have both of our legs. Hey, what's this? Dear girls, I had to go into work to put out a fire that... What? Huh? Put out a fire? No, Molly, that's just a manner of speech. She's saying she had to fix something at work. Like a fire? Her office building's on fire? No, Molly, it's it's just something people say. They're putting out a fire. I did not forget about me! Oh my gosh, yeah, we forgot about baby Kira. I didn't forget about baby Kira. You forgot about baby Kira. No, you forgot about baby Kira. Ah, hoots! Molly, be quiet. We've got to take care of baby Kira. Well, what do we do? Okay, let me see if I can find my cell phone. Uh, no, there's my stuffed monkey. No, no. Oh, Molly, we're gonna have to take her to the hospital. And neither one of us have our phones. Okay, well, I'm gonna pick you up again, baby Kira, okay? We're gonna take you right to the hospital. Everything's gonna be all right. I don't want to go. You have to go. Let me pick you up. Oh, this baby's being a real pain. She might be the worst patient ever. Yeah, she might be. Okay, let's go. Okay, baby Kira. Everything's gonna be just fine. I think this is the right address. La, 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 la. Oh, right in here. Okay, baby Kira. Everything's gonna be fine. You want me to sit with you? I can't me. Okay, there you go. You can sit on the chair by yourself. On the chair, not under it, baby Kira. Well, good morning. How can I help you today? Are you here for a cleaning or a cavity? Wait, what? No, no, my little sister hurt her leg. What? what? But you're at the dentist. Wait, what? I am? Oh, no, I mixed up the addresses. Can you look at my sister's leg? She needs help. I'm sorry, but I'm a dentist. All I can do is fill cavities and to clean your teeth. And also, I'll give you a free toothbrush. No, we don't need a free toothbrush. Come on, baby Kira. Oh, my gosh, I've got to pick my sister back up and find the hospital. Well, it's right down the road. Do you want me to call an ambulance? No, no ambulance. Okay, no ambulance. Thanks for your help. Oh, your teeth look a little yellow. Time for a cleaning. And is that a cavity I see? Goodbye! Molly, where have you been? Holy guacamole, I got here 30 minutes ago. Uh, my accidentally uh, went to the dentist. What? You took baby Kira to the dentist, but they can't help her. Okay, I got the address wrong. But I'm here now, and that's all that matters. Come on, let's get baby Kira some help. Okay, baby Kira, get into this hospital bed, okay? I don't buy you. Yay! I good. Your leg hurts, and the doctor's gonna fix it for you, I promise. Hello, we'll check again. Oh, hi, I didn't see you there. You're so short. Yeah, thanks for reminding me. Hi, I'm Dr. Smith. What can I do for you today? You can stop running around so I can actually talk to you. Sorry, I had a lot of coffee for breakfast. <laughs> I have lots of energy now. My sister, she fell off the swing at the park and, 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 and she got hurt. Can you help her? Oh my goodness, of course I can. Show me where she is. She's in room one. Hey, baby, baby. Oh my. Her foot looks like it's on sideways. That doesn't look good. Hmm, we may need to do an x-ray. What? An x-ray? Will that hurt? No, of course it won't. It just takes a picture of her ankle. Now, where is your mom? Uh, she's at work and I lost my cell phone so I can't call her. Go use the office phone, please, and call your mom. Let her know you're here. Will do, do Dr. Smith. <laughs> well, I had the hiccups right there. Okay, office phone, office phone, office phone. Where's your office phone? Molly, just look, Jeepers. What, are you blind or something? You can see it if you really looked for away. Oh, there it is. Dun, 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 dun. Hey, Molly, what's up? Is this important? I'm at work right now. Mom, it's very important. Well, what is it, Molly? I already told you where the dog food was. Mom, no. You cannot eat dog food for lunch, Molly. That's not a good lunch. You can only feed it to your dog. Mom, I know this. Well, you didn't the last time you called me, Molly. Mom, baby Kira's hurt. Wait, what? What? Where, where are you guys? We're at the hospital, Mom. Don't freak out. I'm freaking out. I'll be there soon. Wait, what happened? She fell off the swing. She hurt her ankle, but Dr. Smith, I think, says she's going to be okay. Is that a lie, Molly? Don't lie to me. Okay. Uh, her ankle's sort of on backwards. What? Oh, my gosh. I'll be there in ju just a second. Okay, Mom. Love you. Bye. Whoa, my mom really freaked out. Oh, my God. Baby Kira's gone. She must have. She must have. Oh, 
Oh my gosh! She died! <laughs> Marty, why are you screaming and crying? How can you not be sad? Baby Carrie's been taken out! She, she's gone! Marty, she's just getting an x-ray. Gosh, you're so dramatic. Oh. <laughs> I guess she didn't die. <laughs> well, that's a good thing. Where's the x-ray room? Marty, hold on! You can't go in there! You're gonna get raided by the x-ray thing! Oh, whoops. <laughs> Whoopsie. Uh, yeah, no one can come into the x-ray room, please. Uh, did you call your mom, girls? Yeah, she said she's gonna be here in a jiffy. Well, the good news is it's just a spring. So baby Carrie needs to stay off her foot for at least a week. Wow, that's gonna be super easy. Not. I'm just gonna go back to your room, baby Kira, and wait for mom. Oh my gosh, where's my baby? Where's my baby? Where's my baby? I got my camera mad like you. Oh my gosh, baby Kira, are you okay? Look it, her foot's back on the right way. Wait, what? What did they do? Surgery? No, I just told it funny. Wait, you you were doing that the whole time, baby Kira? Yeah, it kind of hurts so I, I, I move my foot over. Oh my gosh, I thought your foot was on backwards. <laughs> I feel bad if they gave me some medicine. Oh, it's... It's... It's gonna be okay? Yeah, Mom, it's just a sprain. Baby Kira, you're supposed to stay off of it for a whole week. Yeah, I don't want to. Baby Kira, lay down in that bed immediately. Okay, Mama. Tell me I scared you. Oh, I almost just passed out. I was so... So just... Stricken by fear. I can't imagine anything bad happening to any of my children. Well, don't worry, Mom. Unless you think, well, detention is bad. Of course it's bad, Molly. Did you get detention again? Uh, we're here about baby Kira. Let's not talk about me. I feel bad. You can't go home. Okay, let's go home. You can watch your favorite shows on TV. Uh, I decided I wanted to be a doctor while I was here, Mom. Wow, that's a big announcement, Daisy. Well, she's got the brains for it, that's for sure. Yep, I sure do. Now, baby Kira, I'm just going to check in your ears. <laughs> well, does anybody want to go home and eat some popcorn and watch a movie? Sounds good to me. Wait a minute, where'd baby Kira go? She's not supposed to be running on that leg! Baby Kira! Hi, Miss Smith. I decided to get to my dance class early just so that I could, you know, um, warm up, rehearse a little. Actually, I'm glad you got here early, Daisy. I wanted to talk to you about your performance in the last, the last dance competition. Oh, I know, I did amazing, right? Actually, I wasn't that impressed with your performance. Are you letting other things get in the way? Like other like hobbies or something? What? Other hobbies? No, not at all. I mean, I have my science lab and stuff, but I think you need to learn how to focus on one thing that's your passion. I mean, it just seems like, well, you're sort of becoming a mediocre dancer. Wait, what? Why don't you take this dance class, um, go home, and really think about what you want to spend your time on. Dance is a very serious commitment. But I, I... Not another word, Daisy. I have to warm up for the class, but I hope you choose dance over everything else. Bye. I, 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 uh, okay, bye. I wonder where Daisy is. Oh yeah, that's right, she had dance class. Then who just came through the front door? It's me, Mom, I came through the front door. Daisy? Wait, don't you have dance class until six o'clock? Yeah. Miss Smith kicked me out. Wait, what? Why would she do that? Because she said I wasn't committed to dance and my performance at the last competition was mediocre. I'm going to my room to take a nap. This is ridiculous. Okay, Daisy, well, let me know if you want to talk about it, honey. I can't believe it. How can my dance teacher say that? I'm so committed. And besides that, I'm one of the best dancers in all of Brookhaven. This is just, this is just, ugh, making me so mad. I'm going to take a nap, just like I said, because I need to calm down. No, I don't. I'm angry. I'm angry. Daisy, Daisy. Mom wanted me to come talk to you, Daisy, because she said you had a really bad day and maybe you'd want to talk to me about it. I don't want to talk to anybody about my day ever again. 
Wow, harsh, Daisy. So, um, I'm your big sister. I might be able to help a little. Whoa! Daisy, what's going on with your face? It's, 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 it's what, Marty? Angry looking? No, Daisy, you're, 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 you're I, I can't even talk. I'm so, so freaked out right now. Molly, I'm just angry, okay? Leave me alone. No, Daisy, your face isn't just angry. You, 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 you're a big red panda. What? Okay, now I'm getting even more angry. I don't need your pranks right now, Molly. Why would you even say that? Because I, I'm telling you the truth. You, 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 you're a big red panda. Okay, I'm going to go look in the mirror. I'm telling you, you're being ridiculous right now. Okay, um, why is my sister a big red panda? Why is your sister a big red panda? Holy guacamole, I am a big red panda. How did this happen? Ah! Daisy, okay, don't panic. I think we should go tell mom. But won't I get in trouble for turning into a panda? Um, did you take some sort of weird potion? No. Then it's not your fault. I'm getting mom. Mom! Mom! Daisy turned into a big red panda! We need your help! What's all this yelling about? What, what you, Oh my god! Daisy! What, what, what happened? I know, that was my response too, Mom. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. She got the family gift. Family gift? What are you talking about? Well, it's only endowed to people who are very special in our family. We haven't seen the red panda in 50 years. The last one was your great-grandmother. Wait, what? Red panda? Okay, slow down a minute. We have red pandas in our family? That's right, Daisy. It's considered an honor to have the spirit animal of a red panda. Ha ha! Ha 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 ha! Ha ha You must be kidding, right, Mom? Spirit animal red panda. Do I look like I'm kidding? Look at your sister. She's in fact a red panda. Well, how do I turn myself back? I don't want to be a red panda. Well, only you can figure out how to master the panda inside of you. Wow, that sounds like something a guru would say, Mom. Um, do you often give out some sort of like super good advice to people, Mom? Because you'd be really good at it. You could probably sell books or something. Molly, this is serious. <laughs> Mom's trying to give Daisy advice on how to not be a panda anymore. Oh, today couldn't be any funnier or weirder. I'm being serious, Daisy. If you want to control the panda inside of you, you have to learn out, learn what exactly makes the panda come out. You mean like what makes the panda show up? That's right. Knock, knock! Is anyone home? Oh my god, it's Bookie! Don't let her see me this way! And don't you tell, dare tell her about this, Molly. My lips are sealed. Hey, what's up, Molly? Um, hi. Molly, why do you have a piece of tape over your mouth? No reason, but I can't really talk right now. Molly, where's Daisy? I want to ask her something. Um, I have a question about my homework. And it's about science, so don't say you'll know the answer, Molly, because we both know you're not a science expert like Daisy. Um, Daisy is no longer living here. What? What are you talking about, Molly? You're being so crazy right now. Pull that duct tape off your mouth. I can't, I can't. There's a secret. I can't tell it to you. Wait, what? Does it have to do with Daisy? Um, uh, uh it does. She's my friend. You better tell me, Molly. No, I promise I wouldn't. That's why the duct tape was over my mouth. And I'm sealing it back up. I can't understand anything you're saying, Molly. Tell me right now. Okay, I'm pulling the duct tape off. Ow, that hurt! Ow! Well, that'll learn you for putting duct tape on your mouth. Oh, man. Now I don't know if I can keep my mouth shut. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. So, tell me what Daisy's secret is. Nope, I can't. Give me back my duct tape. Molly, tell me right now. Okay, Daisy, Daisy turned into a giant red panda. It's our spirit animal. It was passed down in our family. The last person that had this curse was uh, 50 years ago when my great-grandmother turned into a giant red panda. There, you know everything. <sighs> oh my gosh, are you serious? That's the biggest prank I've ever heard. Oh, is Bookie gone? Oh God, she's not gone. 
Daisy? Oh my god! You were telling the truth, Molly! She is a giant red panda! I know. Huh. And now Daisy's gonna hate me for telling her secret. All right, let's go find Daisy and tell her that no matter if she's a panda or if she's Daisy, she's still my friend and I still love her no matter what. Me too. She's still my sister no matter what. Oh, there you are. Nice hiding spot. I'm just feeling fairly depressed. I can't talk to anybody right now. Daisy, you're my friend and I'll always love you even if you are a giant red panda. Now tell me how this happened. Well... I was very angry because my my dance teacher said I was being mediocre at my dance competition. Wow, rude! That would have made me angry too. But I don't think you're mediocre. Maybe she's just a bad dance teacher. Maybe she's having a bad day. Or maybe she's just trying to blame um, the failed competition on you, Daisy. Yeah, I guess you're right. But the important thing to remember is, Daisy... You're loved no matter how good you are at dance, how good you are at science, or anything else. We love you as a person. Daisy? Oh my god! You're back to yourself! Yeah, Daisy. You don't look like a big red panda anymore. Really? Oh my gosh, this is amazing! But now I don't understand what makes me turn into the red panda. Well, I think that's kind of easy. It's whenever you become angry. The red panda comes out! Oh, wow, I never thought about that. Um, so don't turn into the giant red panda, but, um, I accidentally ate all your Easter candy. <laughs> Molly! How could you? Okay, yep, anger definitely makes the red panda come out. Okay, running now! Daisy, don't try to kill me, please! Molly, get back here! Oh, man, it was worth the Reese Cups, though. Man, were those good. <laughs> oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Because today I'm going to the water park. Okay, I have to get changed because um, we're going to be leaving for the water park any minute now. I know that Molly and Brookie are getting ready to go because Brookie spent the night last night and it was so much fun. Like, seriously, we had the best sleepover ever. But now we're doing our morning routine so we can get ready for the water park. So let me see. What should I wear, guys? I'm just going to, like, go in here and see if there's anything good for me to wear to the water park. Oh, my gosh! <laughs> Okay, <laughs> I like was wearing my pants for a minute and I'm like, wait a minute, what? What is going on? Okay, what about this one? Oh, that's adorable. I like that bathing suit. But what about this one? Oh, that's adorable. I really like that one. Oh, this one's super cute too. Oh my gosh. I could not decide what bathing suit I actually want to wear. Oh, this one's like a little bit too crazy, I think, for the water park. Ooh, I've decided between this one and this one. Uh, okay, I'm going to go with this one today because I think it's really adorable and I just really like it. I think it goes good with my pigtails and everything. I wonder if Molly and Brookie are ready to go yet. <laughs> Huh? What? No. I don't want to go to school today. I don't want to go to school. Molly, get out of bed right this instant. I thought you were getting ready. Okay, where's Bookie? She's probably in the bathroom, right? Bookie? Are you so... Bookie? Sorry, I was just kind of tired still, so... Oh, I was laying in bed. Don't either of you take this for serious? I mean, we're going to the water park today. This is going to be amazing. <laughs> Molly, get out of bed. I don't want to go to school. I don't want to go to school. <laughs> Molly thinks she's going to school today. Molly, we're going to the water park. Huh? What? What? The water park? What? What? Whoa! Molly, oh my goodness, are you okay? Huh? What? No, I'm still sleeping. <laughs> OMG. Molly, you're the only person I know on the planet that literally could be sleeping after she fell off the bed. Oh yeah, yeah. You're gonna miss the water park. Okay, I'll be there later. 
Molly, seriously, wake up! All right, all right, I'm awake. I'm awake, but seriously, I don't want to go to school. Molly, today is not a school day. Today is water park day. And we have to do our morning routine. Get up. OMG, I forgot that it was water park day. Seriously, I thought it was um go to school day and I didn't want to go. That's because you always get detention. Yeah, sort of. Brookie, do you want to get out of bed? Yeah, I want a minute. It's just this bed is so comfy. It's way more comfy than my bed at home. You have to wake up. Wake up, wake up, wake up. We're going to the water park. We're going to the water park. Well, Marty, all of a sudden you have lots of energy. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm up. <sighs> so what do we do first? Wait, Daisy, did you wear that to bed? No, we've been up for like three hours already. Come on, we have to get ready. All right, hold your horses or whatever. I don't have any horses, Molly. I know, it's just a saying. It means relax, Daisy. We're going to go to the water park. Don't worry. Okay, well, the first thing you guys should do is put on your bathing suits. Good plan. All right, let's see. Which bathing sh suit should I wear? Um, I'm trying to see which ones I have. Oh, this one's kind of cute. This Oh, this one's perfect. Yeah, this is totally me. I really like this swimsuit. Oh, Molly, that one's really cute. Well, I have to take a shower first because um, I went for a jog last night and I have to take a shower today. Oh, uh, I took one last night. Me too, but we'll wait for you, Bookie. All right, guys, thanks. La, 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 la. rub a dub dub three ducks in a tub. <laughs> Rookie, I hear you singing in the shower. Oh, yeah. I always sing in the shower. P-I-G-G-Y. -G -G a piggy is after me. P-I-G-G-Y. -G -G a piggy won't you set me free. I love that song. Now all I have to do is brush my teeth and I'll be ready to go. Rookie, hurry up. We're ready to go. Sorry. Clean teeth are really important, Molly. I'm coming. Oh, wait, I still have to put my bathing suit on, too. Oh, man, I gotta brush my teeth really quick. Oh, this one is so adorable. I love it. I look perfect for going to the water park. Okay, guys, let's go. Molly, Daisy, where where are you guys? Hello? Hello? Oh, they must be downstairs. Guys? Guys, where, where are you? <laughs> oh, my gosh, they went to the water park without me. How rude. Surprise! Here we go! <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys totally pranked me! <laughs> you took so long in the bathroom, we're like, we're gonna prank her and make her think that we actually left for the water park without her. You guys are so funny, aren't you? Come on, guys, we're gonna miss out! Look, it's already looking like it's gonna rain. What? Oh, look at those storm clouds! No! It's okay. I saw in the weather today that it's supposed to pass us right on by, so it'll be fine. Let's just get our bags and get going. Well, if it rains while I'm at the water park, I'm going to be so annoyed. Well, if it rains at the water park, <laughs> it won't really matter because you'll already be wet from being in the pool, so you'll just get wet from the rain. Uh, yeah, you kind of have a good point there. <laughs> you guys are funny. All right, let's go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We forgot something very important before we leave. Molly, we're gonna, we're gonna miss the water park today. Ugh, you're being so annoying. No, we forgot something really important about our morning routine. Well, Brookie took a shower. You and I brushed our teeth. Wait, did you brush your teeth? Uh, Molly, ew, go brush them. What? No, I don't, I don't want to brush my teeth. I want to get going. Ew, Molly, that's pretty gross. But I need to tell you something. No, Molly, brush your teeth first. Fine, I'll go brush my teeth. But then you have to listen to me. Okay, now where's my toothbrush? <laughs> Done! Okay, can I tell you what I wanted to say now? Yes, Molly, why is it that we can't leave for the water park? We forgot to eat breakfast! Oh, yeah, I was wondering why my stomach was growling. <laughs> Silly. <laughs> we should eat breakfast. I know the perfect thing to eat. Follow me! I'm gonna have a nice, healthy piece of food. <laughs> nah, waffles are much better! Ew, Molly, you can't just eat that all the time. You should have something healthy like an apple. Pookie, what's it gonna be? Healthy or unhealthy? Um, uh, uh. Brookie, you definitely want to eat this waffle. Pookie, you definitely want to eat this apple. Waffle. Apple. Waffle. Apple. Waffle. Oh my gosh, I don't feel hungry anymore. 
Brookie, you've got to eat something. How about she has a waffle with apple on top? Um, yeah, that sounds like a great idea. Um, first I'll eat the waffle and then... Ooh, you guys have banana? That sounds good too. No, you said waffle with apple! Well, I think I want banana instead, if that's okay. Yeah, she can have whatever she wants, Molly. Don't be rude. Okay, I guess you can have some banana if you really want to. But I just think you should have a second waffle. Molly, she wants to eat a banana, Jeepers. Ooh, this looks so delicious. Mmm. Told you eating healthy is the way to be. Yeah, except for waffles are so delicious! Now that our tummies are all full, are we ready to go to the water park finally? Um, well, sort of, but I'm still eating more waffles. Molly, you've eaten like four of the waffles. Ah, uh, yeah, <laughs> I was really hungry. Molly, quit eating the waffles. It's time to go. Okay, fine. Let's go. Ah, this is the life. Yeah, tell me about it, Molly. Totally. I'm so relaxed. Good day at the water park. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. My two best friends, one on either side of me at the water park. Could life get any better? I don't think so. I really don't. Yeah, me either. Hey, except for maybe if we went down some water slides. I love that idea. But first, snacks. Molly, we just ate breakfast. Yeah, Molly, you're hungry already. Hey, I can't help myself. <laughs> I love snacks. Molly, first some water slides. Then we'll get some snacks, okay? All right, fine. Brookie, are you coming down the water slides too? Absolutely. This is going to be so much fun. Okay, who's going to go down the slide first? Me, me, me. No, me. I'm the bravest one. Really? I think I'm pretty brave too. No, no, no. I'm the bravest one. Well, let's go by who's the oldest. Oh, well, that's definitely me then. Oh my gosh. Look, at. I think we are going to get a storm. No, it's just turning nighttime because it took us so long to get here today. Well, the oldest one is Brookie Cookie, so she gets to go first. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. I'm so excited. Okay, here I go. Oh, I've got to work up the nerve to do this. You said you were the bravest one. Okay, yeah, I'm the bravest one. I'm brave. Hey, Molly. Hey, Daisy. Uh, what are you doing at the water park today? Um, Playing on the water slides and in the pool? What about you? Yeah, I sort of. It's just, ugh, I just, I don't know. I I thought they were going to have hamburgers and they only had hot dogs here for snacks. Whoa, that's terrible. Yeah, but at least they have water slides, right? Uh, yeah, bye. See you at school. She's so sad that they didn't have hot dogs. I would be too, though. They better have cupcakes. Molly, your next oldest. Just go. But I'm talking about something serious. It's the snack shop. Molly, no one cares about this snack shop. Ooh, that made me think of cupcakes. Go down the slide, Molly. Oh, but I'm thinking about the cupcakes. Oh, they sound so delicious. Okay, Molly, whatever. I'm going down there. Hey, it's not your turn. Daisy, what? Daisy! Bye, Molly! Okay, that's it. I'm going. I'm going. Whoa! Wait a minute. I, why am I not in the slide? Something weird is happening. Okay, there we go. Whoa! <laughs> Oh my gosh, this one's so cool! Whoa! Whoa! Okay, where am I? Where am I? Whoa! 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 You're the same place that we are, Molly. Uh, we didn't go down through the the hole of the water slide. Wait, what? It's broken? I want my money back. One star review. Okay, Karen, calm down. <laughs> Karen, <laughs> Daisy, are you just gonna sit there all day? You're gonna go down the hole. I'm, I'm afraid to. What if it's broken, Molly? Uh, I think we should go down there anyway. I mean, it's starting to get really dark. The water park will close soon, and, and we can't be stuck here forever. Okay, who's brave enough to go first? Not me. Not me! Yo, it, Molly. Ugh, fine. Whoa! Nope, this part's not broken. Just jump down here. Whoa! Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. It might be broken. Now you tell us that. Nope, it's not broken. <laughs> Wee! Come on, Brookie. Brookie? Oh! <laughs> that was so much fun, Molly. Come on, Daisy. You can do it. Here I come, Lady or not. Whoa! Oh, Daisy. <laughs> we 
wait till the end, Daisy. You're gonna freak out. Here she comes, Molly. Woo! <laughs> that was so much of fun. <laughs> totally. Hey, did you just hit my friend with the pool noodle? Ouch, yes he did. Rude! I'm telling on you. I'm telling. Brookie, are you okay? Yeah, I think so. Oh, that really hurt. I think maybe he just came down the side. I'm not sure he hit it with a pool noodle. It looked like a pool noodle to me. We should probably get out of the way of the slide, though, just in case. Yeah. Do you guys want to have a snack now? Already, Molly? Yeah, it's dinner time. I'm starving. Okay, fine, I guess. Woo! A snack! I'll meet you over there. Seriously, all she ever thinks about is her stomach. I know, but I love her just the way she is. Oh, Brookie, that's so nice. Now let's go get some cupcakes! Good morning, girls. I'm just about to make breakfast. Oh boy, mom, can we have pancakes? Sorry, Molly, I don't have the ingredients for pancakes this week. But mom, I really want pancakes. Come on, it's summer vacation. Yeah, that sounds really good, mom, please. I'm sorry, girls. Uh, there, There's no pancake mix, and I don't have money for that this week, okay? Fine. Dizzy, why are you just staring at the empty TV screen with nothing on it? Well, I'm imagining that we had cable. What do you mean? We, we don't? No, girls, I'm sorry. Your dad and I are trying to save money, so um, we decided to take the cable out. There's still the news station, though. The news station? Who wants to watch that garbage, Mom? Oh, that's so boring. Wait a minute. Is that a leftover piece of pizza? Mine! I claim it! Mmm, so good, Mom. You make the best homemade pizza ever. Molly, that's weird to eat that for breakfast. I think it's delicious. Mmm. So, Daisy, would you like some oatmeal for breakfast? No, I'm not really even hungry. <sighs> I wish we could go with everyone else somewhere today. What do you mean? Where is everyone going? Oh, everyone in our school and their families are going to the water park in Brookhaven. Wow, that sounds like so much fun. Uh, how much does it cost? Uh, it's like $50 a person. Per person? Per family? That's right, Mom. So it would be about $200 for us to go. $200? What's the school crazy? We can't afford that. Oh, Mom. Come on, can't we go, please? You must have a little bit in your, um, in your wallet or something, right? I only have, like, three dollars, and I have to use that for gas money to get to, to my job, girls. Like, I don't have two hundred dollars to take you to the water park. This is the most terrible summer ever. It's just, I hate being poor. I hate it. <laughs> Ugh, I feel like a horrible mom. I wish I could afford to take you girls to the water park. Molly, come here, please. What? I'm pouting in my room. What do you want? No, I'm going to pout in the bathroom. Molly, come out here, please. What? You made Mom feel really sad. I'm really sorry, girls, that I can't give you more things. Like, you know, expensive tickets to water parks and, and beautiful clothes, but... I love you more than anything, and I always make sure you have a roof over your head, even if it leaks a little. And and, and I have food in your belly, even though it's not always exactly what you want. I always make sure that you know that I love you so much, and I hope someday you'll know that that's enough. I didn't want to tell you girls this. I wanted it to be a surprise, but since you're so sad about the water park, I guess I'll tell you now. We're going to Disney? Whoa, Mom, this is amazing! Molly, she didn't say we were going to Disney. Ay, ay, ay. No, your dad and I managed to save up to take you girls to the ice cream shop. Wait, what? That's all we're doing all summer? Ugh, I knew you wouldn't be very impressed. It's all we can afford, girls. We're only getting ice cream one time this summer. Ugh, oh, working three jobs is just killing me. Ugh. Oh. I've been working on cutting down all these trees to make lumber all day, and it's exhausting. Well, I guess now's the perfect time to get that ice cream, Dad, since you look really hot. I am. It's 100 degrees outside. Wait, you told the girls about our surprise trip? Well, I had to. They wanted to go to the water park, and we can't afford to send them. 
even though they're the only ones at school that aren't going to be able to go. Oh. We failed as parents! No, you didn't. We're happy that we get to eat ice cream, right, Daisy? Yeah, I'm going to get my favorite. But only one scoop. It's all we can afford. Okay, well, let's get going, guys. Come on, girls, get in. Dad, are you sure you don't just want to walk? I mean, your car has a habit of actually not getting us anywhere, ever. It's always breaking down. Yeah, and it smells like a rotten egg fart. <laughs> oh, it doesn't smell that bad. Yes, it does, Dad. It literally smells like a giant fart. What's wrong with your car? Ah, uh, the girls do have a point, honey. It does smell pretty bad. Well, hopefully it just gets us there. That's all I care about. Uh, Dad? I smell something really funny. Oh, sorry, that was me. <laughs> Leftover pizza does it to me every time. Oh, maybe it wasn't your car that smelled like a rotten egg fart. Maybe it was Molly this whole time. Ew, Molly. What? What? We have money to go through the car wash? No, it's free car wash day. We need to take care of that smell. But, Dad, we're... Ah, we're getting soaked, Dad! Well, you're the one that I think is making it smell like a rotten egg fart, so, Molly, you need a bath. We could all use a bath. The water's not running at the house real well these days. Ah! <laughs> I got soap in my hair! I think that's kind of the point, Dad. <laughs> not only does the car get washed, we do too! Free baths for everyone! Now that we're all clean and smell good, we can go into the ice cream shop. I can't believe it! The car actually made it this time. <laughs> Let's see, what kind of flavors do I want? Remember, Molly, just one scoop. It's all we can afford. Oh, well, I'm definitely getting my favorite mint chocolate chip. Mm, that's so good. So good. Mm. Whoa, who's that? They're pulling up in a limo, Daisy. Whoa, they look so rich. I bet they're the rip richest people in all of Brookhaven. Ooh, I'm gonna get a scoop of everything. Then I'm gonna go to the Louis Vuitton store and buy five new purses. Oh, honey, <laughs> slow down with all this spending of our money. Just kidding, we're billionaires. You can have anything you want, whatever makes your heart happy. Oh, dear. You're so sweet. Wow, I wonder what it's like to be that rich. Yeah, Molly, me too. I can see it now. This is going to be the perfect spot for my new mansion. Let's see, which mansion do I want? I am so rich, I can have anyone I every, anyone I want, really. Um, It just depends on the, the one I think is the cutest. OMG, this one's really cool. This is the one I'm going to have in Brookhaven, but I'm also going to have one in Hawaii. And I'm going to have one in Malibu, so this is just my Brookhaven one. Wow. Look at my new house. It's amazing. I'm so rich that I had an architect build this house completely off center. Look at it. <laughs> it's like I'm falling down no matter where I am in the house. This house cost me $4 million. It was worth every, every penny. Sometimes I just lay money down as my pillow and I, I sleep on it because that's how rich I am. Like I can make money into pillows. Sometimes I even take a bath in money. I'm so rich. I'm so rich. Stacks of cash. Stacks of cash. I got me stacks of cash. I think I'm going to go buy a fancy sports car like right now. What kind of sports car would I want? I could buy a school bus. Yeah, I'm going to buy a school bus and a sports car because that's kind of funny. Ooh, look at this. I really like this. Okay, I'm buying that. It's like not letting me. Okay, fine. I'll try this sports car then. This one's better than that pink one anyway. Oh, yeah. Look at my new car. Oh, I'm so rich. It's just like the best thing in the world. Ah, time to go to the beach. Ah, as soon as I learn how to drive. Whoa, I totally ran into my new house. Oh, well, I'll just buy a new garage if I ruin this one. Ah, why won't the wheel turn? Obviously, I need to hire our driver. I can do that. I'm rich, you know. I'll also hire a chef, and I'll hire, I'll hire everything. I'll hire a housekeeper. And when you're rich, you can do whatever you want. You can sit on the beach all day. 
just counting your money and feeling the sunshine on your face. <sighs> and guess what? You never have to go to school ever again. Whoa, 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 Molly. What are you talking about? What do you mean what am I talking about? The rich have the best life ever. They still have to go to school, Molly, whether you're rich or not. Nope. Mm. If I had all the money in the world, no more school for me. Molly, it's against the law to not go to school. You have to go to school. Okay, but the teachers would work for me. That means no more detention. Yeah, if you say so, Molly. Molly, would you really want to be rich? Well, yeah. Wouldn't be ri being rich be awesome? Yeah, but you'd have different parents and a different sister and everything. Mm, yeah, I guess that's true. So, would you still want to be rich? Well, I sure would miss my mom and my dad. Hey, where's mom? Sorry, I had to go put another quarter in the parking meter. Oh, it was the last quarter I had to. Well, maybe I can find another one under the couch cushion. <laughs> maybe we could save up and bring the girls back to the ice cream shop one other time this summer. That would be so nice. As much as being rich would be amazing, I sure would miss my mom and dad and sister. Really, Molly? You, you wouldn't, you wouldn't want to be rich? Nah, not if I couldn't be rich with you guys. And you guys, well, are poor. So I'm going to stay being a family with you guys. Oh, Molly, that's amazing. And when I grow up, I'm going to do something awesome, like be a doctor, a rocket scientist or something. And I'm going to make sure that I buy us all a really nice house. Oh, Molly, you don't have to do that. But you're such a sweetheart for saying it. Yeah, no money can buy an amazing family. And mine sure does love me a whole lot. Lavacation? <laughs> you're swimming in lava. <laughs> that sounds like the perfect vacation. Oh boy, Marley, hot deal, $311. What else is on, um, blah, 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 auto shop? We fix you right. There's a lot of commercials on. Yeah, no kidding. Brookhaven Dental, 1-800-CRY-NOW. <laughs> That's only if you get a root canal. Whee, so much fun. Okay, girls, your father and I are about ready to leave for our date night. Make sure you take good care of baby Kira. Don't worry, Bob. We will. We will make sure she does all of her night routine. Ah, uh, whatever. Bye. Oh, bye, go to bed. Well, um, I don't see why she can't stay up all night. Molly, of course she can't stay up all night. She has to do her night routine. Let's start with a healthy snack. All right, well, I guess your sister's going to make you a healthy snack. How about you make me a healthy snack, Molly? Yeah, but my snacks aren't that healthy, baby Kira. <laughs> Daisy should probably make it for you. She'll make you something delicious. I'll buy something healthy. I'll, I'll buy a cookie. Oh, you're so much like me, baby Kira. Here you go, baby Kira. A nice, crisp, fresh, healthy apple. <laughs> healthy apple! <laughs> oh, great. You made her cry. There's only one thing to do when baby Kira's crying. Molly, she's fine. She can just have that. No, she has to have something that she likes. Baby Kira, once you eat your apple, come on upstairs and I'll give you a bath. Molly can help. Okay, baby Kira, um, don't tell Daisy, but no one wants to eat a crummy apple as dessert. Here you go. You can have this delicious Reese's. Really? I can? Yep. Mm, right? So good. Did you eat some of my Reese's? No, I just got one of my own. <laughs> and boy, is it delicious. Mm, so good. Don't tell our sister Daisy, though. She'll probably have quite a fit. I won't tell anybody. Take Molly. You're welcome. Now, do you want a drink? Yeah, I, I, I want a soda. Mm. You're so much like me, baby Kira. I don't, I want to be just like you want to grow up, Molly. Well, you're off to a good start. <laughs> come on, Molly. Baby Kira needs her bath. Tell her to hurry up and eat her apple and come on. Yeah, apple, that's it. <laughs> Why does your breath smell like peanut butter? Oh, <laughs> I gave her just a little tiny peanut butter on her apple. Uh-huh, yeah, that's it. 
Well, peanut butter could be healthy if it's on an apple. Blink, blink, ah, Oh, baby Kara! Oh my gosh, she's in the shower. What? Why is she acting so quick way right now? Normally by this time at night she's getting very tired, but she's acting like a crazy baby. I don't know, but I don't think you're going to actually get her in the tub. You better help me try, Molly. All right, I started the water. Let me see if I can go find her. Baby Kira? Baby Kira? Oh, my God. Baby Kira's missing. Where'd she go? She downstairs? I don't, I don't know where she went. Why is she acting so crazy? Wait a minute. Is she back in the bathroom? I hide him behind the toilet. Poo 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 poo. Get out of the toilet, baby Kira! What are you doing? Well, I guess it's a bath. I mean, the toilet water is pretty clean, right? I am a puss in the tub. Oh my God! What's she doing in the toilet? Ah, she's taking a bath. That counts, right? Uh, well, no, it doesn't. That's gross. Get him out of there. I'm not touching her. She might have poo poo on her. Bye. Molly! I'm gonna put my pajamas on. You handle this part. <laughs> She's probably going crazy right now because she ate all that sugar. <laughs> Oopsie! Molly, please help me! We're supposed to be watching Baby Kira together. Okay, okay. I've got her. Why don't you go put your pajamas on, Daisy? I'm getting very worn out by our sister. I buy in the water. Baby Kira, listen to me. You have to stop acting so crazy, or Daisy's gonna know I fed you lots of sugar. I don't care, I'm happy! Baby Kira, I won't be too happy. You're gonna get me in loads of trouble. Okay, I'll be good. Very good, Baby Kira. Now come on, let's get out and get your pajamas on. Okay, I'll brush my teeth too. That's good because you definitely need to after all that candy. Like this, Baby Kira. Up and down and round and round. I'll have my toothbrush. Can I use yours? Ew, no, you can't use my toothbrush. That's gross. We don't share toothbrushes. You have to get your own. Okay, I found it. Okay, now all you have to do is just brush your teeth like this. But you should brush it over the sink. I'll try to brush it over the sink. Okay, I don't know why my mom left me in charge of baby Kira, but... Baby Kira? Ah! Oh, no, 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 no. Don't put your to... Oh, my gosh. OMG. Molly! What is she doing? Is she sticking her toothbrush in the toilet? Oh, I leave you alone for one second. All right, baby Kira, no brushing your teeth tonight. Don't put that in your mouth, baby Kira. That was in there with the poo-poo. Time for bed. <sighs> and I need to sleep, too. Okay, I'm going to bed. Baby Kira is so crazy. I can't believe my mom actually left me as a babysitter of her. <laughs> I don't think I'm responsible enough for that, but, you know, whatever. Molly, uh, Baby Kira wants to say night-night to you. Okay, I'm coming. Wait, oh wait, I'm in the wrong room. Oopsie. Sometimes I get very confused in my own house. Baby Kira, night-night. <laughs> All I can see is her little pigtails. Night-night, I feel Molly. You're my favorite. Aww. Aww, that's so sweet, Baby Kira. Night-night. Wow, Daisy's out. She totally doesn't hear that weird sound downstairs. It sounds like someone's breaking into the house. Well, I'll be the brave one and go check out what it is. What? What is that? Is the, is the burglar a baby? Baby Kira, you're burgling our house? Nah, I have drinking soda and candy. I'm watching a movie. Baby Kira, you're supposed to be in bed. Who cares? I want to play and I want to eat candy and I want to watch a movie. Well, I guess I can't fault you. Mm. Oh, Survivor. I love this. Ooh, candy, so good. And some soda. I can be awake all night long. Me too. Super tired. I got I 
awake. Baby Kira. Ugh. You can't stay out here by yourself. Ugh. But I'm so tired. Come on. Let's go to bed. No, my night nice is sugar. I'm awake. I'm awake. Whee! I'm awake. I'm awake. I'm awake. Baby Kira, it's time for bed. I'm turning off the TV. It's time to go to sleep. Dog, you mean. I stay in a forever. Oh, no. I'm so tired. There's only one thing to do. Oh, I hate to do this, but it's all I have left to do. I'm never going to sleep. Not ever, not ever. Daisy, wake up. Daisy, Daisy. What? What happened? Is the house on fire? Did I forget to do my schoolwork? Daisy, no. Okay, I don't want to admit that I was wrong, but I was wrong. What? What are you talking about, Molly? Go back to sleep. It's super late. Uh, I was wrong because I gave baby Kira lots of sweet treats. What? And I didn't make her do her night routine like I was supposed to. What? And I let her stay up and eat more sweet treats. What? Uh, can you say anything besides what? Oh, MG! I don't know if that was any better. What were you thinking? Mom and Dad will be home soon, and we're going to get in big trouble. Not if we can get baby Kira into bed. Will you help me? Well, if we can catch her, we might be able to get her into bed. All right, let's do this. Oh, baby Kira, where are you? Where are you? Oh, my gosh. I don't know where she is. Ha! Found you. Come with me. I'm out of here. I have to listen to anything you say. Really? Well, then I'll never give you a Reese cup ever again. Whoa, that's pretty serious. Yeah, just stop bouncing around for a minute. I have to... Stop it. Stop it. Did you catch her, Molly? I caught her. Now come with me. Where are we going? Are we going to play a game? Yeah, it's called the go to sleep and be quiet game. I like that game. Well, you don't have a choice. You're the kid and I'm, well, not a grown-up, but I'm in charge. So you have to go to bed. Now, go to sleep. Uh, uh, uh. Seriously, is she asleep already? Well, it is past her bedtime. And now, maybe next time you'll follow the rules. Um, well, uh, probably not. <laughs> Daisy, what are you doing? I'm taking this horse to school. What, wh why are you taking a horse to school? Because, Molly, it's crazy outfit day, and the horse is a part of my accessories. Daisy, you cannot take a horse to school. The teacher's going to give you detention. Wait, what? She will? Yeah, of course she will. <laughs> what are you going to do? Put the horse at a desk and make it do your homework? That's not a bad idea, Molly. Daisy, lose the horse! Okay, fine, grumpy. Well, maybe I'm a little grumpy because... It's still dark outside, and you woke me up for school. Seriously, the bus doesn't come this early. Well, um, I just want you to get out of bed on time because you've been late for so many times that you're literally going to have detention for the rest of your life, Molly. Do you want that? Uh, well, uh... Molly! No, I don't want detention for the rest of my life. Hey, Daisy, what do you think of my crazy outfit? Well, it's certainly crazy. What do you think of my cowgirl outfit? I think I look crazy and cute. Yeah, you always seem to be fashionable, even when it's crazy outfit day. Finally, the sun's coming up. Yeah, well, I may have gotten us out of bed just a little bit early today. You think? Oh, look who these losers are. We're not losers, Sarah. Why are you always saying we're losers? Look at how you're dressed. You have to be losers. Uh, newsflash! Today is crazy outfit day at school, so maybe you're the loser because you're not wearing a crazy outfit. Whatever. Like, I do that baby stuff anyway. Like, I don't dress up, like, for all that nonsense. It's not nonsense. The whole school does it for Spirit Week, and Molly and I just happen to be in the Spirit what are you, like some sort of, like, cowgirl or something? Where's your horse even? I was gonna bring a horse, but Molly said... Look, I don't even care what you have to say. Ugh. 
This is boring. What? Daisy, wait! What, Marty? What is it? You forgot to look both ways. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. Blue so dangerous. What are you talking about? Looking both ways? What are you, babies? Uh, no. We're safe. Sa Sarah, you have to look both ways before you cross a road. Oh, she'll never learn. You're telling me, Daisy. You're telling me. Wow, this test is really hard. Molly, remember, there's no talking and no cheating during the test. You don't want detention, do you? No, I wasn't cheating. I was just saying, this test is so hard, Mrs. Smith. Well, it does challenge you, I agree. I think it's pretty easy. Of course you do, Daisy. Of course you do. Whatever, this test is so hard. Where's my notes? <gasps> you can't use your notes, Sarah. That's called cheating. Whatever, it's not really cheating if I took the notes. Actually, yes it is. Daisy, is there a problem? Please stop talking or you're gonna fail your test. Oh, sorry, Mrs. Smith. Can't believe she's cheating. That's so wrong. No, it's not. You're just such a baby. My sister's not a baby! Molly, no talking. Sorry, it's just Sarah. Molly, no talking. Okay, fine. Ooh, time for lunch, my favorite. Hey, Brookie, what's up? Oh, hey, Molly. I'm just so excited because today I got Doritos in my lunch. Wow, your mom's super cool. Uh, my mom always, mom always packs me just an apple or whatever. Well, sit down, Molly. You could share some of my Doritos if you want. Oh, wow, really? That's super nice of you. Yeah, why don't you share with me, as in give me the entire bag? What? Uh, no, sorry, Sarah. I, I didn't say I would share with you. I only have enough to share with Molly today. Maybe tomorrow. I don't want you to share. I want you to give me the entire bag of Doritos. She doesn't want to, Sarah. <gasps> Sarah, you took her Doritos! Sarah, give those back. You want them after I've chewed on them? Ew, you're gross. Why are you so mean to me, Sarah? You're always bullying me. Brookie! Brookie, wait! It'll be Brookie, come back! Oh, my gosh. Oh, Sarah is so rude. All right, I gotta go do some damage control. Brookie, are you okay? No, I wanted those Doritos. They were mine, and I'm really hungry. Well, I'll share my apple with you. You could have half of it. Thanks, Molly. It's really nice of you. But she's always bullying me, and I don't know what to do about it. We could tell the teacher. That's probably the best thing to do. Yeah, but it doesn't get my Doritos back. You know, Sarah just doesn't play by the rules. <sighs> She's so rude. But one day, it's going to catch up with her, Brookie. I hope so, Molly. I really hope so. Whoa, Brookie, you had a growth spurt. No wonder you're so hungry. I know, right? I can't get enough food lately. You're probably going to be like seven foot tall. You could be a basketball player. I love sports. That would be amazing. Come on, let's go eat my apple. Okay, Molly. Hey, where you guys been? Lunch is almost over. Well, it's a long story. Here you go, Brookie. Here's half. Thanks, Molly. But let's just say the story starts and ends with Sarah. Oh, no. What did she do now? Walk out in front of traffic, cheat on her test? No! She bullied Brookie and took her Doritos. Then Brookie cried in the bathroom. I had to give her a pep talk, and now I'm sharing my apple with her. Thank goodness I have friends like you guys, or else I'd be hungry. Yeah, Sarah's just a bully. Someday she's going to learn her lesson. I agree, Molly. Someday she definitely will. Hey, guys, I have a great idea. What is it, Molly? While we're waiting for the school bus, why don't we play on the playground for a while? Ooh, I love that idea. Maybe it'll turn your frown upside down. It definitely did, Molly. You guys are my best friends. And we're your best friends, Brookie. Now we just have to wait for the school day to be over. Boring! Molly, maybe if you paid attention once in a while, you'd actually like the subject. Uh, probably not. <laughs> Whee! This is so much fun! I'm so glad we decided to come to the playground after school. Me too, Molly. This is so cool. Yeah, I love swinging on the swings. I haven't done this since, like, kindergarten. I know what you mean. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I'm going super fast. Whoa! Molly, be careful. You're going to fall off of there. I'm going to jump. Whoa! <laughs> I actually jumped backwards. Did you guys see that? Yeah, that was insane, Molly. Maybe we should go down the slide next and go into the pool. Ow! You ran into me, Brookie! Stop running into me. Stop running into me. 
Um, Molly, you're standing in front of the swing. Maybe you shouldn't do that if you don't want someone to, um, like, run into you. Ah, uh, yeah, that that's a good point. Okay, who's going down the slide first? You are, Molly, since it was your idea. No one's going down the slide because I own it. I'm gonna put my name on it, like, right now. What? You don't own the playground slide, Sarah. Yeah, I do. No one's allowed to come up here. I'm coming up there. Get out of here, seriously. Sarah, get out of the way. I want to go down the slide. No, no, and let me think about it for just a second. No. Seriously, you made me wait all that time just to say no? Let me think about it again. No. Whatever, Sarah, you're so rude. Ugh, she drives me insane. I know, tell me about it. Oh man, I forgot my backpack at school. I'll be right back. Hurry up, you're gonna miss the bus. Whoa, here comes the bus. Come on, we don't wanna miss it. Sarah, what are you doing? You have to look both ways. Whatever, I don't look both ways. Sarah, Sarah, oh my God, somebody call 911. Sarah got hit by the school bus. Sarah, are you okay? Say something. It definitely hit her head. Oh my gosh, we need an ambulance. We need an ambulance. Oh my god, this isn't good. I called 911. The ambulance is on the way. Sarah, just hold on. Hold on. Well, Sarah, it looks like you have a concussion. And also, your leg looks sprained. You're very lucky. I mean, having a school bus hit you... It it could have killed you. Whatever. When can I get out of here? Uh, you definitely have to stay for the next two days for observation. We want to make sure that the concussion clears up before we send you on home. Oh, this is so annoying. Just try to relax, Sarah. I'll have the cafeteria bring you in some dinner. Sarah! Sarah, are you okay? Who wants to know? It's me, Molly. Don't you recognize me? Yeah, I just didn't want to be bothered to look at you. Oh, I'm so annoyed right now. I'm in the hospital. Sarah, oh my gosh. I, I, I thought maybe the bus had killed you. Well, obviously not. I'm still here talking. Yeah, so so what did the doctor say? She said I have a concussion and I have a sprained leg, so I have to stay here for two days. Whoa, Sarah, you got lucky. You know when I said you should look both ways, and you said you don't follow the rules, and that's for babies? Yeah, I remember. Well, uh, I think you should start following the rules. What? Why? Because a school bus hit you! That's why! Why else? Ugh, I'm so irritated right now that I can't go and do what I want. Um, you would be able to do what you want if you would follow the rules. Yeah, I mean, I guess I should have looked both ways, because it did really hurt when that school bus hit me. Yeah, not to mention you scared the school bus driver half to death. She thought you were a raccoon. What? I don't even look like a raccoon. Why would you say that? Um, maybe you had some bags under your eyes or something. I do not look like a trash panda. Take that back right now. Sorry, Sarah, I can't. And you can't get out of the bed, so see you later. Molly, you come back here right now. I can't believe you called me a raccoon. Get back here. <laughs> Sarah finally learned her lesson. You should play by the rules. Especially look both ways, because, like, you know, a school bus might hit you or something. This has been a crazy day. Molly, come on, get out of the bathroom. I really have to go. Um, I'll be out in, like, a half an hour. Molly, come on, I have to go in the bathroom. Get out of there. I'm really busy right now, um, brushing my teeth and taking a shower. Molly, get out of the bathroom. I have to go. Molly, I can see you right now. Are, are you just watching YouTube on your iPad? You're not even using the bathroom. I'm using it for privacy. I, I'm so tired of you nagging me all the time. Well, maybe I wouldn't nag you if you weren't stuck in the bathroom all the time. Now, come on. I really have to go. Fine. You're the most annoying sister in the entire world. Oh, sorry. I have to use the bathroom, Molly. Oh, that makes me the worst sister that I'm human. Yeah, it really does. Huh? I guess I'll just play on the computer.
Let's see. I want to try to find a good game to play. Or some funny videos to watch. Ow! <laughs> Look at these fat cats. They're like flying through the air. Molly, excuse me, but I have to use the computer to do some research for schoolwork. What? No, I was here first. Molly, you know the rules. Mom and Dad said if we're doing homework, we get to use the computer first. Whoever's doing the schoolwork, that is. I don't care. I'm watching this funny video. I already had to leave the bathroom so you could use it. Uh, yeah, because I had to go to the bathroom. And now I have to do my schoolwork. So seriously, get off the computer. Ugh, I'm so sick of you being my sister. Tell me about it, Molly. If I didn't have a sister, the world would be a better place. Rude! Daisy! Oh my gosh, my sister is so getting on my nerves. It's okay, I'm just going to eat the waffles. Mm. I'm going to eat every last waffle we have. Because they're delicious. Ooh, mm. With a little bit of butter on them, so good. Oh my, I'm feeling quite hungry for breakfast. I go have some waffles, that sounds pretty good. Where is all the waffles? Um, in my stomach. What? You ate every last waffle, you pig! What? I was super hungry. Molly! All I wanted was a waffle for breakfast! How could you? Oh, you're driving me crazy! Um, sorry, but too late now. <laughs> They're delicious. Oh, brother. Look, Molly, I have to have a serious conversation with you. You do? About what? About you being... Oh, yourself! Well, sorry, Daisy. I can't be anybody myself. Um, I know you can't be anybody but yourself. But maybe you could just work on yourself just a little bit and be nicer with your sister. Not a chance! And I think it's rude you should even mention it. I'm doing my best here, Daisy. And, and well, if you don't like me, maybe you should just leave. I am going to leave, Molly. This is getting ridiculous. I don't need to live with a sister like you. I don't need to live with a sister like you. Goodbye. See you later, Molly. Sayonara. Ah, this is the life. No sister and peace and quiet. Hmm, I wonder what's on TV. Oh, wow, a new episode of Brook High, Daisy's favorite show. She would have loved this episode, I bet. Oh, well, she's not here. Oh, my stomach's growling again. <laughs> my stomach's always growling. Let's see what's in the fridge. Ooh, Reese cups. Mm. These are Daisy's favorite. And there's an extra one. Oh, that's too bad that she's not here, though. Well, I guess I better start on my math homework because mm, this Reese cup really is good. If I don't do my math homework, then I'll get detention again. And I don't need any more detentions, because seriously, I've had like a hundred this year. <laughs> oh, this math homework is super hard. Oh, how am I ever going to figure this out? I wish Daisy was here. She, she knows how to do math homework. Well, this hotel is pretty nice, but it's not like my home, you know? It just, it feels like, it doesn't feel like it's a home. It feels like I'm just staying in a hotel all by myself. It's kind of lonely. Wait a minute. I know how to solve my loneliness. I'll buy a big mansion and that'll solve everything. This is going to be the biggest mansion ever in Brookhaven. It's going to be beautiful. I'm going to be so happy here. Wow, look at this place. Holy guacamole. There's one, two, three, like four floors. Oh yeah, I'm living the life now. I can't get over this place. It's amazing. Holy guacamole. Molly would love this indoor pool. Going in the pool is sort of her thing. Uh, well, she's not here. I guess I'll have to get in the pool by myself. It'll still be fun, though. Ah, this water feels amazing. She's not here to play Marco Polo with, though. I guess I'll just play it by myself. Who needs her anyway? Marco... Fish out of water! Just kidding. There's no one here to play any games with. Who am I kidding right now? I miss Molly! <laughs> My sister's so annoying and I still love her! What's wrong with me? <laughs> I can't be without Molly, even though she drives me insane! <laughs> well, I guess I have no 
choice but to go home. Ay, 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 I have to live with her forever, even though she drives me nuts. I will not admit that I miss my sister. I'll just keep eating my feelings. Yeah, that's it. I'm, I'm one Dorito bag away from feeling better. I don't miss my sister. I don't miss her at all. <laughs> I miss Daisy. <laughs> Molly? Daisy? What are, what are you doing here? Well, I... I will, uh... Whoa, are those Doritos? Those smell delicious. Yeah, you want some? No, not really. Look, Molly, I, I, I really just... I need to tell you something. I need to tell you something, too. Molly, you just spit Dorito on me. Gross! Oh, sorry. Try not talking with your mouth full. Well, try not being so rude! Molly! Okay, let's not fight, Molly. The reason why I'm here is... Because I missed you. Oh. I mean, don't get me wrong. You're the most annoying sister on the planet. You miss me? Seriously? And wait a minute. I'm not annoying. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Okay, we agreed not to fight. Well, at least for the next five minutes while we're making up. Yeah, exactly. Mm. Those Doritos really were good. Molly, focus. Okay, DZ. I'm, I missed you too. You did? Yeah. Don't ever leave again, okay? We're sisters for life. Even though we drive each other crazy? Even though we drive each other crazy. Oh, Molly. <sighs> I wouldn't want a more annoying sister than you. I wouldn't want a more bossy and, and know-it-all sister than you. I'm not a know-it-all. Well, I hope you are because uh, I have this math homework and I can't figure it out. Okay, Molly, I'll tutor you in math. Let's go over to the couch and take a look at the problems. Thanks, Daisy. Do you mind if I eat some potato chips while we do that? Molly! Focus! Okay, how about some Reese cups? Molly! Fine, I'm doing my homework. I'm doing my homework. Uh, having you as a sister sure is a challenge. Tell me about it. Roll over, you're snoring so loud. Huh, what? Uh, sorry. Laura, seriously, why are you snoring so loud? Ugh, I never met a girl who could snore as loud as you can. Uh, sorry, Ugh, my stomach is just really hurting. Oh, you probably have to fart. Just go back to sleep. Oh, I think I have to go to the bathroom. Ugh, I don't feel so good. Oh, I hope you're going to be okay. Thanks, Dan. Ugh. Ugh, I'm definitely going to throw up. Ugh. Ugh, gross. I hate throwing up. Ugh. I don't feel so good. Laura, are you okay in there? Are you throwing up? Oh, she definitely got the stomach bug. Gross. Laura, it's okay. I'll bring you the Pepto-Bismol. Poor thing. Aw. I'll be right there. I mixed it with some ice cream so it tastes better, because Pepto-Bismol tastes awful. Laura, can I come in? Okay, you didn't answer. Here I come. <laughs> Laura? Oh my gosh, what happened? Laura? Are you alive? Okay, yeah, she's alive. She's moaning. Oh my gosh, she fainted. Okay, I'm calling 911. 911, what's your emergency? My wife, she was puking a lot, and I went to make her an ice cream pe Pepto Bismol smoothie, and when I came back, she was laying on the floor. She had passed out. I thought she was dead, but no, she moaned, so she's not dead. Okay, first of all, you should never feed someone ice cream and Pepto Bismol when they don't feel good. Okay, yeah, but who cares about that? Second of all, I have dispatched a ambulance to your house. We know exactly where your cell phone location is. <laughs> it's so crazy, right? Technology. Are you going to be here soon? I'm really worried. Yes, we'll be there soon. Laura, everything's going to be okay, I promise. The paramedics are on their way. Uh, 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 I think she may have thrown up way too many times. I'm not really sure, though, what's going on. I hope she doesn't die. I love her a whole lot. Except for when she snores so bad in bed. Okay, sir. Everything's going to be fine. Hello, paramedic! Oh my gosh, you guys got here so quick! Oh my, okay, let's see what the trouble is. 
Ma'am, can you hear me? Ma'am? Oh, I can hear you. My stomach just hurts and then I got really dizzy. Oh, wow, ma'am. Well, I'm going to put you on the stretcher and take you in the ambulance to the hospital, okay? Do you remember your name? Yeah, it's Laura. Okay, Laura. Everything's going to be okay. All right, sir. Uh, you might want to get off the stretcher. Sorry, I'm just really nervous and kind of tired. I'll go out here and wait. Dan, why are you getting on my stretcher? Sorry. <laughs> Oops. All right, Laura. I'm just going to put you on the stretcher now. Everything's going to be okay. You're the nicest paramedic ever. Thank you so much. No problem, honey. Everything's going to be all right. Let's go get you into the ambulance. Would you like to come along, husband? Absolutely. Uh, I'll even go in my pajamas. I don't care. I don't know what happened. I... I was fine, I was sleeping, and my husband woke me up and said, you're snoring too loud. And my stomach got upset, and I ran into the bathroom to throw up, and I fainted. It's okay, ma'am. We're gonna take you to the hospital, and they'll find out what's going on. We, we didn't pick up my husband. He'll have to meet us there. This is an emergency. Laura, are you still with me? Yeah, I'm just feeling really faint again. Oh, and my stomach really hurts. It's going to be okay, honey. I'm going to take good care of you. Come on. Let's you get, to you get you into a room so a doctor can see you. Hi there, Laura, is it? Yeah, I, I, I don't feel very good. Well, I'm Dr. Nickenbacher, and I will be taking care of you today. I just want my husband. Is he here yet? Uh, he should be on his way. I'm right here, honey. Sorry, you guys left without me. I just had to get my slippers. I came as soon as I could. I ran the whole way. You didn't take the car? Well, I mean, I ran to the car, and then I ran from the car to the emergency room door. That's what I bet. <laughs> I'm way too lazy to run all the way to the hospital. You know that. Yeah, I know. Oh, my stomach. Well, the first thing I think we should do with your wife is get an x-ray of her entire body because we have no idea what's going on most especially her brain and her stomach since she fainted and her stomach hurts that sounds like a good plan i'm so worried about her all right i'll send in a stretcher for you and i'll meet you in the x-ray room oh this won't hurt will it no x-rays are painless although they can be a little noisy how long will this take um, well, if I don't hit myself with the door, <laughs> about till right now. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, okay, wow. Um, that's an interesting find. What? What is it? Am I dying? I'm gonna send in the nurse to bring you back on the stretcher, and we'll have this conversation with your husband. Really? Really? I'm gonna die, aren't I? That's why he needs to be there. Uh, I wouldn't say that. I'll see you back in your room, Laura. What is it? What's happening? Let's wait for your wife to get back. This is the type of news I want to tell you together. Oh my god, she's dying! I knew it! Just calm down, Mr. Smith. Everything's going to be okay. Okay, Mr. and Mrs. Smith, I reviewed your wife's x-rays, and this is going to come as a bit of a shock to you. I knew it! She's dying! I don't know how I'll ever say goodbye to you, Dan. Okay, Mr. and Mrs. Dramatic, she's not dying. She's actually, well... Pregnant. Wait, what? Pregnant? Oh my gosh, I can't believe it! This is a little shocking and crazy. Yeah, and the crazy part is, is you guys are having, um, triplets. Triplets? What? Oh. Mr. Smith? Now you're the one that fainted. Mr. Smith, are you okay? Okay. I just need a minute here on the floor to just catch my breath. Okay. Are you okay, Mrs. Smith? I... I can't believe it. Pregnant with triplets? When... When am I due? When am I going to have my baby? Babies! <laughs> I mean, I still have to have, like, a baby shower and get cribs and... Well, that's just the thing. I've never seen this before in my career as a doctor, but... You're going to give birth any minute. Wait, what? Okay, I'm just going to stay down here on the floor because I can't move. I... Ah. Dan, I need your support. I can't believe it. I'm going to... Ah, my stomach hurts. Ah. Okay, honey. We got this. I mean, right? We do have this, right? You guys totally got it. Let me go put my iPad down. Sounds like I'm going to deliver three little babies. 
I've never seen this in my career before. This is going to be crazy. All right, let me change into my scrubs. What an amazing day this is going to be. Okay, let's do this. Wait, you, you already had one of the babies? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. It was crazy. Oh, you didn't wait for me. Oh, I wanted to deliver the baby. Okay, well, she had one. What do you want me to say? Oh, but here comes another. Here, Dan, hold the first baby. What am I supposed to do with it? Just be nice to her while I deliver baby number two. Okay, Laura, deep breath. Doctor, why are you laying down? Sorry, it's been a long shift. I didn't mean to lay down. Are you sleeping standing up? I don't know if I really am okay with you delivering these babies right now. You're being a little crazy. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me just lay down for a minute. Okay, I'm good. I took a one-minute nap, so I'm fine. All right, let's deliver that second baby. Great job, Laura. She's beautiful. Okay, choose enough. We don't need the third one. She, can, she doesn't have to come. She can stay. Sorry, that's not the way it works, Mr. Smith. You're having three babies. Oh, she's adorable. Hi, sweet little girl. I know. Mine's adorable, too. They're both adorable, and we still have one more. I'm going to be poor. I'm totally going to be poor. Three girls? Trips to the malls? Oh, my gosh. I'm done for. Hi, Dr. Nickenbacker. What can I do for you? Whoa! You have twins? No, identical triplets. Oh my gosh! Okay, take the second baby because Laura's about to have the third. Okay, no problem. All right, Laura, deep breath. Are you seriously laying down again? Sorry, I'm just really tired. This is like a lot of excitement. I am a really good doctor though, I promise. Well then stand up and help me give birth to this baby! Okay, yeah, yeah, sorry. All right, you're doing great, Laura. Oh my gosh, honey. You had three babies! Get out of my bed, Dr. Knickerbocker! <sighs> okay, well, my shift's just about over, and these babies look adorable and healthy. Congratulations! Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Today has been the craziest day of my entire existence. Tell me about it, but look at our adorable babies. Oh, so sweet! Now all we have to decide is what we're going to name them. Hey guys, if you have names that would be perfect for our trip list, let us know in the comment section below because Laura and I have to come up with three adorable names for our sweet little girls. And we want to know what you guys would name your triplets. Okay guys, thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye guys! Oh, it's been such a long day. But look at the beautiful babies I got out of it. <laughs> I'm so happy. We'll see you guys later. Make sure you guys are listening to Molly. I don't know why you get to be in charge. You're the most immature of us all. Daisy, be quiet. I'm in charge and I'm telling you, shh. Girls, be nice to each other. Your mom and I don't get a date night very often and I don't want to get a call on my phone that you guys aren't getting along. We'll get along, Dad. Bye. I I cannot believe what Brittany just said to Sadie. I know, right? Brookhaven High is getting crazy. I Okay, well, we have to go and get her a diaper at some point. Yeah, in a minute, I wanna watch this show. I go poo poo soon, I go poo poo. How about you go poopy in the potty? You know, like a bacon. No, I wear diaper forever. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, I'm gonna eat some popcorn. Mmm, this is delicious. I, I, I had popcorn and I had snack too. Okay, you can have some too. Here you go. I had some popcorn. Mmm, so good. <laughs> OMG, having a baby sister is a lot of work. What was that? I didn't hear anything, Molly. Okay, I'm turning down the TV because I definitely heard something in the back door. There it is again! Whoa, I heard it that time too. It sounded really creepy. I wish mom and dad were home. I'm brave. I check what it is. No, baby Kara, we're 
Baby Karen, no! We're all gonna go together. I want to go. I think it sounds super creepy, Molly. Let me be Kiwa. And that's why I was left in charge. Because you're going to send our little sister to see if there's somebody outside? Creepy. She's too little for that. Come on, we're going to all go together. Fine, but I hope it's not like a boogaloo or something. They're going to rob all the money from our safe. And then we can't go on our trip to Florida. It's going to be fine, Daisy. It's probably just the wind. See, I told you guys, nobody there. Oh boy, that was a little creepy. Whoa, the lights just went out. They're flickering. Oh my gosh, it's definitely somebody breaking in. No, Daisy, it's Daisy. It's not somebody breaking in. I think it's just the power is going to go out because it's really windy. Probably the trees are scratching against the house, making a really creepy sound. Uh, yeah, okay, I'm still going back upstairs. Yeah, I think we should, but I think everything's going to be fine. No one's breaking into the house or anything like that. Okay, well, let's just watch a movie. Or we can watch the rest of Brookhaven High. I heard the Brookhaven High. Yeah, let's watch the rest of Brookhaven High. This episode is crazy. Uh, Baby Kara, did you eat all the popcorn? Yeah, I did. <laughs> Ew, Baby Kara! Don't you have to go poo-poo? <sighs> well, let me know when you do and we'll change your diaper. Yeah, Baby Kara. Or you could go in the party, chill. Go! Okay, no potty. There's that sound again. I know, Valley. I heard it too. But like you said, there's a storm that's going to happen outside, so the wind is really high. So it's probably just trees scratching against the house. Sounds like it's getting closer. Hmm, is it at, at the front door? I don't... Wait a minute. What? What? Ah! Guys! There's a monster! It's at the, 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 the front door! What? What are you talking about? Don't prank me right now. Ah! She's not blanking! Everybody run to the panic room! Yeah, panic room! Good idea! <sighs> did you see that monster out there? I sure did, Molly. That was insane! Wait a minute, where's Baby Kira? Oh my god, she didn't make it into the panic room! What? Baby Kira? Baby Kira? I had to buy it, I had to buy it, did you? Oh, Baby Kira, I'm so glad to see you! I was so worried that the monster got you. Thank goodness Dad's a cop, so he is a bit paranoid about someone breaking into the house. Yeah, good thing he was. That monster would have gotten us if we hadn't had this t um, bunker to stay in. Yeah, <sighs> this panic room is definitely worth it. <sighs> well, I don't know if there's any snacks in here, but there's a bathroom and beds. What? No snacks? Don't worry, I have a uh, Reese's in my pocket. Mm. Molly, seal! Everybody might be hungry. Or better yet, save it in case we're in here for a long time. Well, eventually our parents will come home. They'll see the monster and... And get kidnapped by the monster! We have to call somebody! Um, that's just the thing. I forgot my cell phone on the couch. Oh, brother! And mom left you in charge! What was she thinking? I did a papa, yeah, I did a papa, I did a fire. What? Baby Kira, use your words. I'm not afraid because the monster can get us in here. Molly, do you hear that weird sound again? I do. What, what do you think it could be? I got a little boy in your monster. What? Ah! He's trying to break into the panic room! Okay, let's just go over here, guys. Let's go over here. Uh, Molly, we could use a taser gun on him. No, I'm not going to open the door. That would be silly. We're, we're safe in here, right? Oh, no, but I don't I think so. Monster, what do you want from us? Uh, something tells me he doesn't speak English. Um, do you speak any language besides monster? Nope. Okay, well, I guess we're stuck in here. What if mom and dad don't come home for a really long time and the monster figures out how to get into a panic room? I don't think that can happen. This was built by the professionals, overseen by our dad, a police officer. He knows how to make a, pa a panic room safe. I just want mom and I have no way to tell her we're in here. Okay, Daisy, it's going to be fine. Dad's a cop. When he sees the monster, he'll know exactly what to do. I hope so, Molly. This is freaking me out. I like Mantos. Mantos nice. No! Monster is not nice, baby Kira. Monster's me! I like Mantos nice. Okay, where is the monster? Is he still there? Oh my god, he's still... Baby Kira, do not open the door! 
<sighs> well, I locked it so she can't. Good thing, Molly, because she thinks monsters are nice. That's it. We're never getting out of here. We're going to be stuck in the panic room forever. But eventually, Mom and Dad will come home from their date, right? Uh, I hope so. Why are you running in circles? Because I'm bored and I want to get out of here. I'm Michael. I'm Michael. We be friends. Baby Kira, I told you already. The monster can't come in here. No, I go out to monster. What? But I locked the door. Oh, baby Kira, you scared me. Baby Kira, what? Baby Kira, don't go down the escape hatch. Oh my God, Daisy, we have a problem. Huh. Baby Kira just went down the escape hatch. What? Are you serious? That's a one-way exit. This means that that she's going to be out there with the monster. Oh, my gosh. This is so bad. No. Monster, you stay away from my baby sister. Hi, monster. I come see you. Bye. Hi, monster. <laughs> ah, baby Kira, run. Oh, my gosh. Babies are adorable, but not that smart when they're little. <laughs> they are constantly trying to get into harm's way. <laughs> Baby Kara! Okay, I don't want to have to do this, but I'm going to have to. Calling in the big dogs. Daisy, what are you doing? I'm freaking out! Ah! Daisy, I need your help! Okay, she's going to be useless. i got to unlock this door. i got to unlock it. Why can't I unlock the door? Okay, here we go. Here we go. I'm going to tease you, monster! Free monster fun! Get piggy back right! Wait, what? Ha ha ha! Ha I babysit! Wait, what? You you just wanted to babysit? I like kids. They're nice. Wait, you look creepy though! Hold still, I still gotta tease you! Duh! Don't tease my friend! Monta nice! Monta not doing anything wrong! Okay, I'm totally confused right now. Why do you make all those weird sounds? Cause he's a monster, we can't help it! I put my hands out to arrest. I'm not going to arrest you, baby Kira, but I may arrest this monster just because he's real creepy. What's going on out here? Why is baby Kira hanging out with the monster? Well, if you had paid attention, uh, instead of having your little moment of scaredy catness, is that even a word, scaredy catness? No, it's not a word. Um, you would know that baby Kira has befriended the monster. Uh, this seems bad, Molly. Really bad. I like Monto, Monto night. Nice. Whee! I'm not me. I just love me. Don't judge book by its cover. Oh, well, um, uh, I'll have to ask Mom and Dad if you can babysit. I'll be right back. I've got to get my cell phone. Well, it never fails, Molly. We always get a call on our date night. What is it? Ah, uh, this time it's really important. Um, uh, Molly, there's more popcorn in the pantry. No, uh, it's really important, Dad. The diapers are in baby Kira's, uh, her in her nursery. Honey, come on! Let's go play this game next! Are you guys at the arcade without us? Uh, no, uh, uh, yeah. What? You went to Dave and Buster's without us? That's so not fair. Marty, tell him what's going on! Okay, um, there was a monster at the door, and he seemed really mean, so we went into the, um, panic room. Baby Kira escaped, you know, I'm sorry, I did my best, but she's kind of a troublemaker what what are you talking about a monster we're gonna come home immediately oh but i wanted to play this game laura the kids are in trouble no no not necessarily um baby Kara got out and found out that the monster is actually really nice he'd like to know if he could babysit us well i mean we could stay stay at david buster's if he's trustworthy that is yeah that's true and i didn't play this new star wars game yet Ooh, it looks so fun dad um, I don't know. A monster babysitting you seems like a bad idea. You're still in charge, Molly, and we'll be home in about 15 minutes. Okay. Sorry, my parents said no. What? Why does everyone judge me? Don't worry, Michael. You can come for dinner. Yeah, you can still come for dinner. My parents just have to be there to meet you first because, well, you're a monster, and we have to make sure you're not a mean monster, but a nice monster. Okay. When's dinner? Yeah, we'll make pizza. Wait, do monsters eat pizza? Of course. Delicious. <laughs> See you then. <laughs>